welcome to today's service in the name of Jesus. We are broadcasting live through to many television from Christian Revival Church, Nakuru City. Amen. Amen. And we want to welcome all our viewers, wherever you're watching us from. Uh, welcome to our service today and be part of this service. This is a great service. This is a new service. Amen. There's never been one like this before. This is a new day. Amen. With new things. Hallelujah. God bless you as you join us and you'll be part of this service. Thank you so much. I request all of us to be up on our feet as we prepare to begin the service in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please wave to someone. Turn around and give someone a smile. Let them see it in your eyes. Amen. Let your eyes reflect the smile. Hallelujah. And thank you for coming on time. Amen. Our service starts at 9.30 every Sunday here. May we pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, we come before you, Lord, in prayer this morning. This is a prayer of thanksgiving, thanking you for this day, thanking you for our lives, thanking you for the strength that you've given us, thanking you for the peace that you've given us, the peace that passeth all understanding, Thanking you, Lord, for filling our hearts with joy and filling our mouth with good things. We thank you that today we are a forgiven people and we stand before you not in our own righteousness, but in your righteousness through Jesus Christ. We thank you that the blood of Jesus has cleansed us from every sin, from every trespass. The blood of Jesus has given us an access into the throne of mercy. And therefore today, Lord, we draw nigh to you. You have told us to draw nigh to you and you will draw nigh to us. We thank you, Lord, for you are here. Lord, you're here with us, Lord. We can feel your presence, hallelujah. And your presence gives us joy. Your presence gives us hope. Lord, your presence, oh, enables us, Lord, even to focus on you, the author and the finisher of our faith. We know that it is well because you are in our midst and indeed not just in our midst, you are in our hearts. You reign, you are the Lord, you are the king, you are the master, you are the savior, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, and we honor you for you have made our bodies your residence. And today we present them, Lord, to you as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable, which is our reasonable service. We ask, Lord, that your goodwill shall be done in this service. Lord, that you will bless us, and you have already blessed us, but you will continue to bless us, that we will remain under the umbrella of your blessings, your blessings that make it rich and addeth no sorrow to it. May you keep us from evil, O Lord. We thank you for it is you that heals us of every sickness and disease. And today we declare that we are a healed people. For by the stripes of Jesus we are healed. And you sent forth your word and healed us from every sickness and every disease. We thank you, the Lord, that we are in good health. Oh, blessed be your name. And because we are in good health, Lord, we will sing with all our strength. We will praise you with everything that is within us in the name of Jesus. We honor you today. Hallelujah. Lord, even with our substances that we have brought into your house, Lord, it is to honor you because you have honored us with your goodness and your mercy in the land of the living. Bless us, Lord, in this place, and even them that will not be able to come today because of different reasons, we commit them to you. We judge you to be faithful to keep them, Lord, against all evil in the name of Jesus. Them that, Lord, are mourning because of the loss of their loved ones, we pray for them too and commit them to you. You are the great comforter that will continue to comfort them and to give them strength, Lord in every situation in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the ministry of the word. Oh Lord, your word is bread indeed. And we thank you that we shall not live by bread alone, but by every word 
that proceeds forth from your mouth. Father, may your word find a place in our hearts and let it be sown into our hearts and bring forth fruit thirtyfold, sixtyfold, and a hundredfold. May we be doers of the word and not hearers only. And may we make your word a light unto our path and a lamp unto our feet. And may we hide that word in our hearts that we may not sin against you. Thank you, Lord, for heaven and earth will pass away, but your word will never pass away. We honor you, Lord, and we are receptive to your word. Our ears, Lord, are attentive to your voice. We anoint our ears with the oil, the oil of anointing in the name of Jesus, and that our ears shall hear the voice of the Lord that says the Lord, that says the Lord, hear what the Spirit says to the church. Let our ears hear, Lord, what you are saying to us in the name of Jesus. Thank you for you said you are building your church and the gates of hell shall never prevail against us. We are winners. We are more than conquerors. We are victorious. We are strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. This day, we possess the gates of the enemy. This day, Lord, we pull down every stronghold of the enemy. We cast down every imagination and take captive every thought and bring it down to the obedience of your word. This day, Lord, we declare it is the day of the Lord. It is the day of good news. Yes, hallelujah. It is the day that the Lord has purposed to do us good and not evil. We surrender to you, Lord, and do that which you must do. For you have prayed, believing, and trusting in the precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. Amen. As we prepare to usher in the praise and worship team, would like to read the word of God from Psalms 100. Amen. We are in a thanksgiving mood. Hallelujah. We are thanking God for the past year. We are thanking God for this year and even for the days to come. Amen. It is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord. And so today we are saying it is a day to give thanks to the Lord for the great things he has done for us. Amen. And for the great things that he will do for us. Remember, it is God at work in you both to will and to do of his own good pleasure. So expect good things, for he says he will give you an expected end. Amen. So look out for the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Amen. We are reading from the King James Version. Amen. Psalms 100. Together. Hallelujah. Okay, two, three, let's go. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Amen. Amen. Verse 4. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Amen. Verse 5. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endureth to all generations. Hallelujah. You can give the Lord a better hand clap for the Lord is good. And his mercies endureth forever. Amen. Hallelujah. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Amen. Hallelujah. And even in our generation, the mercy of the Lord shall endure. Amen. Amen. And his truth too shall endure. God bless you. Can we have the praise and worship team? The order of the service has not changed, so after the praise and worship, 
We will have the choir. Amen. God bless you. This is your service. Make it the best that you can. Amen. Let's give Jesus a shout of praise. He's worthy to be praised and adored. As we worship him, I want to invite us all to lift our hands, to lift our voices unto him as we bless his holy name, just as we have read, because he is good, his mercies endure forever. Just lift up your voice. Let him know how good he is. Let him know that he is merciful. Our God, we are, we are grateful this morning. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Your love is everlasting. Your truth endures to all generations. We glorify your holy name. Come on, lift your voice. Let's make this house up. Ashalaba siyekete mando jalia masaya. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. You are the God. You are the Lord. You are the mighty one of Israel. We continue to worship you, Jesus. We submit our praises to your throne this morning. You're worthy to be praised. You're worthy to be adored. You're worthy, Jesus. That is why we lift our hands. We lift our voices. We lift our hearts unto you, Lord. We pour out our hearts unto you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Come on, somebody enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. We praise you, Lord. You are everlasting. You are our master. You are our God. We bless you, Jesus. the prayer hallelujah you are Yahweh yeah, you are Yahweh you are Yahweh yeah, you are Yahweh you are Yahweh ah Let's tell him you are you are Yahweh you are Yahweh you are Yahweh Hallelujah you are Yahweh you are Yahweh you are Alpha and Omega you are Lord our Yahweh Hallelujah. Yeah. 
zako siku ya leo anastahili sifa yeye peke yake ndio akuheshimiwa yeye peke yake ndio akusifiwa yeye peke yake ndio akuabudiwa wewe peke yako bwana twakupa sifa za mioyo yetu yesu twaina mabele zako pamoja na maserafi pamoja na makerubi
Kwiatu
kweli kabisa kwake Yesu nitadumu Ye ndiyo mwamba ndiyo salama Tumpatie Yesu makofi mazuri Na kama hujampata rafiki anaitwa Yesu unajikosea Huyo ndiyo rafiki mzuri sana aliyetoka juu sana akashuka chini sana akutoe kwa giza kwa dhambi na kuinue juu sana na huyo rafiki he cannot fail you baba tunasema ni asante kutoka hapa Christian Bible Church kwamba tuna rafiki tunaweza kutegemea sio rafiki wa muda sio rafiki ya mwaka wa jana na leo sio rafiki rafiki yetu Yesu ni wa milele Baba tunasema ni asanti kwa nafasi umetupatia. Specially kukuabudu kama Mungu wetu. Maana tuko hapa kwa sababu yako. Duniani vyote vilivyomo ni mali yako. Na vile tulianza ibada tukisoma Saburi moja sisi ni kondoo ya malisho yako. Tunaomba utulishe, utuvishe, utukinge na maovu yote na utupatie haja za mioyo yetu. Baba tunakushukuru kwa ibada hii na ibada zingine mali pale Kristo na tajwa ulimwenguni mzima. Uwabariki maana sisi ni viungo katika mwili wa Kristo wapate pale walipo. Tunakushukuru Bwana kwa nchi yetu ya Kenya maana hii ndio nchi ulichagua tuzaliwe na tukae. Na wale Bwana wako hapa tunawabariki. Hasa rais wetu tunamwombea maana tunajua kwamba hakuna nchi na hakuna mboma haina kiongozi. Umesema tuombe viongozi wetu hasa rais wetu. Tunamwambia kwa sababu ukimbariki na kumpa amani na mwelekeo nchi yetu itakuwa na amani na mwelekeo na mwongozo mzuri. Tunaomba umbariki na jamii yake na wale wote na mshauri, wa mshauri kama vile Danieli alishauri mfalme wa Babylon. Umsaidie bwana wao na washauri, wanaomshauri kama vile Josefu alishauri farao na nchi ya Misri ikainuka. Utubariki zote na zaidi ya yote ubariki kanisa la Yesu katika nchi ya Kenya. Maana kanisa lako ni nuru na nuru inashinda giza. Na ibada hii tunapoendelea kusikia neno lako, e Mungu lipate nafasi ndani ya mioyo yetu. Na ni katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na kushukuru. Na tuseme amen. Ningependa kusema mara nyingine na wasalimu katika jina la Yesu. Ningependa kushukuru Bwana kwa nafasi ametupatia. Nafasi huja mara moja, maana kesho huijui. Kwa hivyo ile siku umepatiwa appreciate and do the best to do the will of God and also to be a blessing. Ningependa siku ya leo tusome Mathayo 24 verse 14. Mathayo 24 mstari wa 14 Inasema hivi Tena habari njema ya ufalme itahubiriwa katika ulimwengu wote kwa ushuhuda kwa mataifa yote ndipo hapo ndipo ule mwisho utakapokuja Nitasoma tena kwa utaratibu kwa sababu neno la Mwenyezi Mungu lina nguvu tena habari njema ya ufalme itahubiriwa katika ulimwenguni mwote kwa ushuhuda kwa mataifa yote hapa nasema ulimwenguni mwote pia naongeza kwa mataifa yote na pia nasema kwa ushuhuda hapo ndipo ule mwisho utakapokuja maana yake ni kusema kilicho na mwanzo kina mwisho maana yake ni kusema hii dunia kuna mali ilianzia my friend my brother kulikuwa na watu wawili duniani <laughs> kabla china ija kwako kabla wa afrika wajatokea kabla wa russia wa america na makabila yote na rangi zote na lugha zote azijatokea maandike nasema 
Mungu alipoumba dunia aliumba Adamu na Hawa. Say there were only two people in this world. You think about it. Sasa piga hesabu angalie. Piga hesabu angalie dunia imejaa kweli kabisa. Kama vile Mungu alimbariki Adamu na Hawa akasema, "Muzae mujaze dunia." Na imechukua miaka mingi ndugu na dada kufanya mataifa yatokee, makabila yatokee, lugha zitokee. Na tunajua vizuri sana hizi lugha na makabila zilitoka wapi. Ni wakati mwanadamu alitaka kufikia Mungu njia yake. Ak, e, Nimrod akiwa kiongozi. Na maandiko nasema mnara wa Babeli ukaangushwa, lugha hizi zikatokea. Kwa hivyo tunaona ni mapenzi ya Mwenyezi Mungu watu wa pan, panuke. Sio waende juu, wapanuke. Mwanadamu anataka kwenda juu na Mungu anakataa. Anasema enda right, enda left, enda south, enda east. Nikisoma hii Biblia, Mungu alipomuita Ibrahimu, hakumuita ende juu. Nasema hakumuita ende juu. Alimuita apanuke. Na ndio sababu walipotengana na lutu. Maandike nasema, Mungu akamwambia Abraham, kutoka mali umesimama, angalia mashariki, angalia magharibi, angalia kaskazini, angalia kusini. Inchi yote naona nitakupa wewe. Sasa anza kutembea. Mapana yake, marefu yake, kila sehemu. Ndiyo sababu na kutia moyo, Mungu anataka tupanuke. Nasema tena Mungu anataka tufanye nini? Tupanuke na pia tuongezeke. Kwa ubora na kwa uzuri. Mungu angependa tubariki kwa hali na mali na akili timamu na afya. Mungu angependa bariki boma zetu tupate kuwa baraka vile alimwambia Abraham, I will bless you to be a blessing. Na kuguzwe hiyo kabla sijafika Matthew 24:14 nikwambie lengo na shabaha ya mimi kusimama mbele zako. Hiyo ni kusema Mungu anataka to see mark time. Mungu hataki to mark time. Mungu hataki tuhesabu miaka na miezi. Mungu anataka tuhesabu na tufanye mapenzi yake. Miaka uja, miaka uenda. Watu uja, watu uenda. Watu inuka, watu anguka. Watu anguka, watu inuka. Lakini mapenzi ya Mungu yanadumu hata milele. Hata Yesu akasema, afanyaye mapenzi ya Mungu anadumu. Na ndio sababu tungependa mwaka huu udumu. Uonyeshe ufanisi, uonyeshe baraka, uonyeshe kwamba Mungu anaweza mambo yote. Hapa tumesoma maneno ya Bwana Yesu. Bwana Yesu alikaa katika mlima unaitwa Muzaituni Mount Olives. Mali pala alipaa kwenda binguni akishafufuka hapo ndipo mali alikanyaga hivi na akabariki wanafunzi wake na wingu likamchukua kwenda binguni na Zakaria 14 anasema atakaporudi atakanyaga huo mlima na utapasuka katikati hiyo tunaeleva Yesu anarudi tena duniani siku moja hatujui tarehe hatujui mwezi hatujui mwaka lakini hakika ni kwamba kama vile liandikwe na katabiliwa atakuja mara ya kwanza hata ya pili pia atakuja na mawingu ya binguni na maandike nasema kila jicho litamuona alipozaliwa alizaliwa kama kitoto kichanga naonekana ni mnyonge mdhaifu lakini atakaporudi atarudi kama simba wa kabila ya yuda na nguvu za ajabu kutoka binguni na bingu na inchi stapita na paradise zitaondoleba kwa sababu ya uwepo wake hiyo tunaeleva lakini ukiangalia Yesu alipokaa katika mlima Muzaituni wanafunzi wake walimuuliza swali ukisoma katika hiyo Matthew 24 mstari wa kwanza nasema Yesu akaenda zake katika hekaluni na wanafunzi wake wakamwendea ili kumuonyesha majengo ya hekalu naye akajibu akawaambia hamo yaoni haya yote amini na wambieni halitasalia hapa jiwe juu ya juu ambalo halitabomolewa na ningependa kukwambia kile Mungu amesema atatenda. Na Yesu alizumuza wanafunzi wake wakiangalia. Na hiyo mujengo ni hekalu ile Herodes alijenga for 46 years. 
Lakini Yesu anasema hii siku moja hakuna jengo hakuna jua itakuwa juu yake. Na Yesu akamaliza kuongea na akaondoka. Alipokufa na kufufuka na kaenda mbinguni 70 AD baada ya kufa kwake, Warumi wakaja wakapiga Jerusalem, hakuna jiwe lilibakia kwa hiyo. Kwa hivyo neno la Mwenyezi Mungu litatimia tukubali tusikubali. Katika neno la Mwenyezi Mungu hakuna mabishano, there is no debate. Neno la Mwenyezi Mungu take it away it says because God will be will back his word. Na maana yake nasema Mungu yuko nyuma na nani kulithibitisha. Hata alipokuwa ameketi katika mlima wa Mzaituni, wanafunzi wake wakamwendea kwa faraga wakisema, tuambie mambo hayo yatakuwa lini? Nayo ni nini dalili ya kuja kwako na mwisho wa dunia? Ukitaka kujua Biblia soma kwa utaratibu. Unaona hapa nasema juu ya mambo yatakayokuja na pia dalili ya kuja kwako na pia mwisho wa dunia. Systematically things are falling in place. And I want to say we are living in a very exciting time. Most of the things we have seen them. And there are so many others coming. And I want to say today, it is very important for you to ask God to open the eyes of your understanding. Na baadaye maandike na semaje. Yes, akajibu, akawambia maishara zote hizi. Ukisoma hapo kuna maishara nyingi. Zile yes, alisema za kuja kwake. Akasema kwa sababu wengi, akasema hivi Yesu akajiba kawaambia angalieni mtu asija kabadanganya maana udanganyifu siku za mwisho utakuwa mwingi my friend we are living in a dangerous times mimi mambo naona sasa sio ile tuliona miaka 50s 60s 70s 80s 90s things have changed drastically there is a lot of deception in the world a lot of it sio kikanisa sio kisiasa sio kidini sio kimazingira yani unaona kwamba kuna roho ya udanganyifu kabisa ehe na Yesu alisema na itatokea kwa kuwa sababu wengi watakuja kwa jina langu wakisema mimi ni Kristo nao watadanganya wengi nani mtasikia habari za vita na matetsi ya vita angalieni msistishwe maana ya yote budi kutukia lakini ule mwisho haujafika kwa maana taifa litaondoka kupigana na taifa na ufalme kupigana na ufalme kutakuwa na njaa matetemeko ya nchi mahali mahali na most of this have happened mahali mahali kando kando huko hayo yote ndio mwanzo wa utungu wakati huo watawasaliti ninyi mpate dhiki dhiki ndio hizo zimetokea na zinaendelea kutokea nao watawaua na nanyi mtakuwa watu wa kuchukiwa na mataifa yote kwa ajili yangu ndipo wengi watakapojikua na watasalatiana na kuchukiana na manabii wengi wa uongo watatokea na kudanganya wengi na kwa sababu ya kuongezeka maasi upendo wa wengi utapoa lakini mwenye kuvumilia hata mwisho ndiye atakayeokoka kutoka kwa hiyo hali lakini sasa sikiliza kuongeza na hiyo yote Yesu ame underline kabisa ishara zote za kuja kwake mara ya pili vile alizumuza na manabii juu ya kuja kwake kwa kwanza na ikachukua wakati wake na ningependa kusema kalenda ya Mungu iko right on time sejo yake iko saba kabisa when the time comes he does this when the right time comes anafanya kile amesema lakini kuna ishara ya mwisho Yesu alizumuza ambaye anaenda kuzumuza siku ya leo which is very important Hizi zingine ni za kutisha. Tetemeko la nchi kando kando inonesha sehemu tofauti imetokea inaua watu wengi. You know that very well. Udanganyifu ndio hiyo njaa ndio hiyo. Mataifa yanainuwekiana moja na mwingine. I am telling you it is not good news for what is happening in the world and what is going to happen. But I'm talking about the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Maana ya mambo mengine ni ya kutisha persecution njaa kiangaza kutetemeka kwa nchi haya mambo yetu tumesoma rumors of wars nation rise again and nations pestilences pestilence maana yake ni kama hii corona that's a pestilence pigo kitu kinakuja kielebeki na ndio sababu ningependa kusema hivi this world is not our home even though we are here we are here temporarily na ndio sababu Yesu alipotushughulikia msalabani 
alimaliza akasema naenda kuandalia Makao John chapter 14 and he assured us is coming back so that where he is we might be there also that is a guarantee hiyo ni hakikisho kwamba this world is not our home we are here for a few years then we are going to eternity na ndio sababu ukisoma hii biblia na unisikilize kwa makini maana kila unasikia ndicho kutapata ukisoma hii biblia na ansa na mwanzo genesis Na ukisoma Biblia inamaliza na ufunuo na chapter ya mwisho ya ufunuo inazumuza juu ya Joana anaona bingu mpya na nchi mpya mali haki inakaa it is started with the god itamalizikia mungu so god has already planned this thing so well and he knows the last day the last minute the last year and the events which are coming Lakini there is one thing ningependa tufanye kama kanisa na kama waaminio. Tusije tukawa kama wale wanangoja kuja kwa Yesu and they are not ready. Usiwe kama wale wanaongea juu ya rapture sana na ukimwangalia mtu anasema rapture hata ikija saa hizi yaende. Masengenya wachi vitina wachi ukabila wachi anasema rapture 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 is coming for people who are holy my friend ready prepared. Ni kama bibi harusi wezi kuvaa slippers na nywele wache rasta atunangoja bibi harusi utunolewa unaolewa kwanza uta, utapambwa na wameits watakusafisha wakutengeneze makucha wakupake hiyo mnaita sijui ni q q nini wakupake kabisa wakutokote masikio toke ukoro toyote <laughs> yani utolewe uchafu wote <laughs> makucha itengeneze sura isuguliwe sawa sawa iwe smooth iwache kuwa na pimples Mano wanajua na kuja kuolewa na mtu wa maana. Sasa kanisa la Yesu tunalishughulikia. Na ndio sababu it's very dangerous that us kupata mushirika hafundishwi na akae na ongozwe. Kila mushirika amekuwa mhubiri. Ni kama kufanya kondoo anachunga mchungaji, impossible. <laughs> Wewe enda huko nje angalia wachungaji wa kondoo. Mwingine huwezi kumtamani kama Masai na kama Kwajo na zile ngomba anachunga ni kubwa kubwa na nakimbia kila mahali nani mchafu lakini anahakikisha zile mbuzi ama kondoo na ngombe zimekula na amezichunga kutoka kwa adui na jiona na zirulisha kwa zizi la kondoo ama mbuzi ama ngombe and that is why you should value men and women of god who take care of your souls na usijaribu kuwa juu yao atoe mwerevu kushinda wao na ndio sababu hapa tunajifunza juu ya jambo moja kwamba yesu anakuja kwa kanisa lake now before he comes mara nyingi nasema we have a work to do naambianga marafiki zangu mabishop tuna kazi ya kufanya tuache kuuza mafuta tuache kuuza vifagio tuhubiri injili maana Yesu hiyo ndiye alisema ishara ya mwisho sema ishara ya mwisho sema ishara ya mwisho na naona siku za mwisho kitu kitakuwa nyingi sana mara nyingi nasema sin will abound iniquity inasema iniquity yani dhambi itazambaa kila mahali ndio sababu maana nyingine nasema itafika mahali Mungu atasema anaendelea kufanya dhambi na endelee anaendelea kuwa mwenyaki na endelee yani hata Mungu mwenyewe atashindwa afanye nini sasa atawapatia freedom wale wameamua kufanya iniquity sumbuana na hiyo na wale muamia kufuata ukweli endelea na hiyo maana mwisho wa mambo yote kuna siku imewekwa Mungu mwenyezi muhukumu wa haki atasimama na atapatia kila mtu kadiri ya matendo yake. Na mara nyingi asema you are sitting there you are not the first one and you'll never be the last one. Kuna watu ibarabara wamepita wazuri wakubwa wadogo wamesoma hawajasoma tajiri na maskini they have passed this way to eternity either to hell or heaven. They had they took the word of God in they applied it they are somewhere in a better place a good place and there are some who had and they said i don't care they played i gave them a fool they played uh, easy na mwisho wake they left they are in eternity of hell they are there by choice and some are he in heaven by choice lakini hapo kiangalia ishara ya mwisho Yesu anasema na injili hii ya ufalme itahubiriwa ulimwenguni mwote na kwa kila taifa 
And that is why kanisa muzuri haita kandani ikingoja yesa ruti. Kanisa muzuri haita kandani ya kusema yesu tarudi lini. <laughs> Sasa niwea na alikufia peke yako ama dunia muzima. Unajua ile kuwa so selfish hata tuwezi kubiri injili nje hata tuwezi kuambia neighbor juu ya Yesu we are so selfish that even sharing the love of God and what Jesus did for us on the cross you don't even share you are simply waiting to go to heaven heaven is not for idolaters heaven is not for lazy people my friend heaven is for people who are serious with the cross we angalia wanafunzi wote Yesu alichagua they were doing something. Na kawasaidia wafanye kazi yake kwa bidii. Hata Saulo wa Tariso alipatikana anatesa kwa Kristo. This man was very active na sheria za dini yake. Jesus akajua nikibadilisha hii I will use this man for my own glory because of his zeal. And I want to say God does not use a lazy church, a lazy preacher, a lazy member. He does not and will never bless laziness. God will bless your effort. Especially if it is done for the glory of God. Mungu atakubariki, Mungu atakudefend, Mungu atakusaidia na Mungu atahakikisha amekuhifadhi na miaka yako na afya yako na boma yako and anything you do under the sun God will prosper it. You will be under his protection 24 hours. Ile tunasema unaangaliliwa vizuri. And nothing shall by any means hurt you because you are fulfilling the cause of the cross. Kwa hivyo tunasikia hapa, Yesu anasema ishara ya mwisho kuongeza nezi zote ni kwamba injili ya ufalme itahubiriwa ulimwenguni mzima kwa mataifa yote. Then inasema very clearly kwa ushuhuda. Maana yake ni kusema kilicho muhimu hapa Watu wakubali wasikubali wamesikia. Maana ya ushuhuda ni kusema is a witness that means kuna hukumu inakuja wakati jaja tasika anaitwa bwana Yesu wakati mbuzi na kondoo zitasimama mbele zake yeye ndiye ataitwa muamuzi the judge. Sasa atajaji namna gani? Atajaji wale watu watu walihubiriwa wakasikia either walikubali ama wakukubali kwa ushuhuda lazima injili ubiribe ili yeyote asije kasema hakusikia and that is why let us go out there and tell people about Jesus Christ otherwise we are wasting our time inside the churches otherwise utapigwa mijeredi nataka nikwambie leo wakati kanisa la Jerusalem lilifika na miujiza na maishara wanastare wanasema Mungu anafanya kazi Mungu alileta kiboko kawatawanya ndio injili kaenda kila mahali Jambo lilisija likatufanya watu wakaanza kuhubiri fanya hivyo kwa upendo because there some things happen like the persecution ya Jerusalem was so simple so that the gospel may spread to Samaria wengine wakaenda Samaria wengine wakaenda Judea kila mahali na wako na mipango special like Philip an evangelist he went to Samaria and preached Christ you see the result so we are here to encourage you as the church of Jesus Christ and the disciples of Jesus musikalie viti na kuom the seat we have to stand up and go out there kanisa lilianza na fire na litaenda nyumbani na fire and that is why you will discover Mungu anachukia ile kanisa inaitwa lukewarm sio baridi sio moto sio juu sio chini anasema nitawatapika maana yake ni kusema nitawatupa ndani ya moto maana yake nikasema anasema ni sasababisha kitu ili sasa either uwe moto ama baridi uamue so ni sisi wenyewe tufike mahali tujue kwamba kifo cha Yesu sio sio mchezo ile gharama lilipa ya dhambi zetu kutopeleka kwa baba mtakatifu ila tutaikani na tuku staili kuingia it is very important to take the death of Jesus on the cross very seriously knowing that we are going somewhere mali pala tuku staili kuingia mbele za Mungu mali pala ukisoma Hebrews 12 Maandiko nasema mahali pale mbele za Mungu kuna malaika maelfu na maelfu na maelfu na maelfu na juu ya mlima unaitwa mlima wa Zayoni 
Mahali pale Mungu amekaa na utukufu wote mkubwa. Mahali pale kuna watakatifu na zile nafsi zimefanywa kamilifu. Amazing. So we are going somewhere very high and very glorious and powerful but we must help people also to go there. How do we do it? Is by preaching the gospel. And I will show you how to preach the gospel. It's not about jumping in the church and shouting and saying I feel good. It's about going out there, make others also feel good. Baada anasema kwa ushuhuda na baadaye anamaliza anasema baadaye mwisho utakuja and then the end shall come and i want to assure you the end shall come atujui siku atujui tarehe atujui mwaka but the assurance is here until we have preached the gospel all over the world don't deceive yourself jesus is not on the way Ana alikuwa anasikia zamani muhubiri na ubiri kabisa anasema hata sasa sana kuja yuko njiani. Siku moja nikamuuliza ulimuona anakuja amefika wapi? <laughs> Maana there is that deception. Maana mtu hajui maandiko. Lazima ishara ya mwisho ifanyike before he comes. Can we say amen? I'm not saying it's on the way. It's not on the way my friend. He's seated at the right hand of the Father in the heavenly places. He's interceding for us. He's praying for us and he's asking the Holy Spirit whom he has sent. Can you tell them to go and tell the whole world that this is why I came. This is why I shed my blood. This is why I died for them. Nilikufa nikazikwa, nikashughulikia kuzimu, nikashughulikia mauti. Sasa nimeenda kuwashughulikia kuwatengenezea makao. Niwaambie narudi tena. Waambie wewe wa tayari. That is the work of the Holy Spirit in the church and in a believer the holy ghost is not here to make us comfortable the holy ghost is not here to make us feel nice no he has been sent to help us to fulfill the purpose why jesus died why jesus rose again and why jesus went to heaven and soon is coming back the holy ghost is there preparing the church for the second coming of jesus hallelujah as we go out there preach the gospel the holy ghost is there to convict sinners and he cannot convict if you don't preach. Wapendwa miaka ya 7 tulikuwa na ubiri masokoni kila mahali. We saw miracles, we saw people getting saved na megaphone ile ya debe. Hakuna vyombo kama hii, hakuna mtu anakutangaza, hakuna handbills, unaenda huko na chomoka na na njora ya neno, unasimama sokoni, waseme wasiseme na wale wanasikia wanaoka na wengine walioka mpaka leo. And I want to assure you they cannot hear the gospel unless somebody has been sent. And I want to say today, hiyo ni kazi ya kanisa, sio ya pasta. Sio ya pasta my friend. Oh, mumetesa wa pasta. Pasta ubiri nje huko, wewe ndio kondo na ozama tunda. Wewe ndio kondoo unaleta maziwa. Kazi ya mchungaji even in the natural ni ya kulisha kon, eh, ngombe. Ngombe isikishalishwa sina za. Na pia inatoa maziwa. Sasa wewe ukifundishwa unafanya nini? Kiro umenenepa, kiro umejaa baraka, lakini you don't know how to distribute and to be a blessing. Akuzumuzia wewe na uko nje. Kwa sababu kama unataka kutimiza na Mwenyezi Mungu, hapa Yesu anasema and then the end shall come. And your sababu Jesus before he returns kabla Yesu ajarudi. Injili ya ufalme inaoita wokovu lazima iubiribe. The message of the cross. Don't the message of your church. Not the message of miracles. The message of the cross. The message of salvation, the gospel, means the good news. The good news means what Jesus did for us on the cross. He died for our sins. He took our sins. He took our curses, our pains and our sorrow. Alichukua malipetu musalabani. Maana ni webe na mimi tungiangi kwa huko, tupigwe, tuteswe maana sisi ndio tulikuwa mwenye dhambi. Malana zote tungezibeba Ayale yote yesa litendeba Maandiki nasema he became sin for us Akama mwana kondo wa mungu Zile dambi zoto likuwa nazo Baba kazi chukwa kaweka juya mwana wake yesu krisa liye kondo So tunakila sababu kwenyesha baba We appreciate the act he did Akaweka dambi zako Uchafu wako Malana zako 
juu ya mwanamake Yesu kwa na dhambi he who never knew sin became sin for each one of us don't you see the love of god my friend don't you see the mass of god my friend why do you behave as if nothing happened on the cross 1991 tulina kubiri dar es salaam katika huo uwanja tukihubiri mungu alinifungua macho nikaona kitu kila mtu duniani anahitaji kuokoka na nikaona misalaba imejaa jangwani na kila msalaba umeandikwa jina la mtu sasa nachukua mtu asikie njili na achukue msalaba wake afuate Yesu nikaona wengine wamechukua na wengine wamewacha kuchukua yule anaichukua anaanza safari ya kwenda mbinguni yule anayepuuza anabakia the same spot katika giza katika malana katika hukumu ya milele it taught me one thing it is us to go out there and tell people there is your cross somewhere take it and follow jesus to eternal life na wawezi kusaidika until we do it it's not all about you saving them you are not the savior you are just a messenger just preach the word just preach jesus christ just preach the cross the outcome waachia mungu wakuokoka wataokoka na wakupotea watapotea kilicho muhimu hapa tunaambiwa kwamba injili ya Yesu Kristo lazima uhubiribe ulimwenguni mzima uhubiribe not condemnation we don't preach condemnation my friend kama vile wengine tulianza kuhubiri lakini kwa utoto wetu Mungu aliokoa watu una hukumu watu badala kuwapatia solution na kuambia kile Yesu alifanya msalabani mpaka pastor kaniambia i you have a zeal but you have no knowledge sit down i teach you na nikakubali hasa nikitokea najua kile nasema maana najua injili ni habari njema can we say amen najua injili ni habari njema nikipata mtu anavuta sigara si sehemu sigara ndiye tu kuchoma jahanam naona unaenda kuchomeka na hiyo utachomeka mpa utachomeka no that's not my that's not a gospel the gospel is to show people jesus what jesus did for them the more they hear about the work of the cross the more sigara itaanguka can we say amen We don't preach about oh na we levi wataenda kuzimuni oh wa levi wapendwa they have already they are already condemned how do you condemn somebody who is already condemned show them who took their place on the cross and the more you preach and they look at jesus the more ile ile hamu ya pombe inaanza kuisha mtu anaanza kusema he kumbe yesu ananipenda na hiyo kitu inapotea na ndio sababu nataka nikwambie tumeambiwa tubiri injili injili ni habari njema Hatuambii tubiri juu ya watu. Hatuambii hatuambii tubiri juu ya makanisa yetu. Tumeambiwa tubiri juu ya injili na injili ni ile kazi Yesu alifanya msalabani. Hatujaambiwa tubiri juu ya Musa na Elijah hapana. We have been told to preach about the gospel what Jesus did for us on the cross. That is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. A church or a member or a believer who will do that you will be able to be blessed. Daniel anasema tutangaa kama nyota za mbinguni wale tunaoleta nafsi nyingi kwa Bwana we shall shine like the stars of heaven. Wewe unataka kushine wapi? Mimi nataka mbinguni ningare mpaka ulize ile nyota inaonekana mzuri ni nani? Ni nani? Unaambiwa ile ni Marita. He, how comes is brighter than me? Utaambiwa He won so many souls. Bwana asifiwe sana. That is why he's wise and is shining sema amina and that's why jesus talked about the end times and finally said the judgment will show followers the agents of spreading the good good news to salvation to everyone yes alisema hivi na akasema siku za mwisho watafika lakini akasimama akasema umuhimu wa kuambia watu siku ya hukumu kwamba inakuja kwa ndugu na badala sikiliza hata maandiki nasema wabzi chunga usicho ukaenda uchi siku hiyo maana ene maana na human who died without Jesus is naked and empty i say it's naked and empty hakununua vazi la wokovu hakununua vazi la how do you expect somebody who died without the salvation the robes of salvation the robe of righteousness ataki fufuka fufuke na suti na tai hakuna hiyo na ndio sababu maandiki natuambia vizuri nunua vazi lako ukiwa hai na hiyo vazi la wokovu unapata calvary 
Unasafishwa na damu ya Yesu Kristo, unakubali kazi ya msalaba, unavalishwa. Ukiwa hai, umevalishwa. Ukifa, umevalishwa. Siku utafufuka, utakuwa umevalishwa. Ndio sababu tunatahadharisha watu kwamba ati kila mmoja wetu according to Corinthians first uh, Corinthians chapter 5 verse 10 ati zote tutasimama mbele za Mwenyezi Mungu na kila mtu atatoa hesabu yake kila alifanya kwa mwili kibe kizuri ama mabaya Romans pia chapter 10 inatuambia kwamba kila mmoja atatoa hesabu yake siku ile ya hukumu so Yesu anapotudhahadharisha hivyo anasema sasa sikia enda waambie siku moja watasimama mbele zangu Na yote yule amekubali kazi ya msalaba atakuwa acquitted. Yeyote yule amekubali damu ya Yesu ataambiwa no condemnation. Yeyote yule aliyesema yes Lord, huyu atafunguliwa mlango wa binguni na yule aliyekataa, nataka nikwambie leo, hata maandiko nasema hell and heaven is before the presence of God. So hell is not very far from God and naona watu wakiwa kuzimu wanalia and there is no choice because they chose that way. Pia anaangalia watu wa binguni vile wanafurahi anasema they chose it. That is why Mungu ana ubaguzi na ana upendeleo. Hata dakika hii Mungu anaona watu wakiwa kuzimu wanachomeka, wanalia, wanasikitika na Mungu hana kitu cha kufanya. Maana alitafuta njia na alichukua njia na ule watengeneza njia wakapuuza. That is why we have to preach the gospel no matter what. We have to preach as long as we are breath. Let's do it. A good believer will say amen. Ongeza na hiyo nini mask. So my Biblia, Luka chapter 5, ukiwa nyumbani ama hapa, hapa unisikilize. <laughs> yes, anaenda kwa bahari fulani, anapata wavua samaki, wanavua samaki, na badema nige nasema, hawajashika kitu wakina Simon. And then Jesus anaingia katika mashua ya Simon, kutoka ndani, anaubiri neno la mwenyezi mungu. Hivyo ndivyo neno la mwenyezi mungu niladamana, hata katikati ya bari ya michafuko. Hata katika katika bahari ya kukosa ama mali pale kuna upungufu mali pale kuna magonjwa what is the solution is the preaching of the word of god and i want you to say amen my friend heaven and earth will pass away but the word of god will never pass away the bible says heaven and earth was created as a result of the word so where there is no word of god don't expect blessings where there is no word of God, don't expect a healings and miracles. Where the word of God is preached, God is there. And the word of God is alive, it quickens, and it gives miracles, and it gives faith. So here, tunaona yes, amengia ndani ya mashua kavu. Mashua tupu. And that is why your life can change. Okimukaribisa yesu neno ndani ya maisha yako. Your life will never remain the same again. Your family will never remain the same again. Your business will grow. Your health will change. Anything which has been bothering you will never be your portion of your life. Yes, I can't afford it. While I was a maki, what will you come the whole night? They had caught nothing. While you can't see kids and then all about Yesu. The only way out of your calamity, the only way out of your problems, the only way out of your failures, sit down, hear the word of God. This encourages me. That means my blessings are in hearing the word. Because faith comes by hearing, and hearing what? By the word of God. Once you discover this, how to honor mutu wivu, how to kimizana na mambo, na watu, na hali, you relax, study the word of God, hear the word of God, go to a church where they preach the solid word of God with the power and anointing, and expect a change to come your way. There are things you don't pray for. There are things when you receive the word, they happen. I say they happen. I say they happen. Because the blessings are in the word. The miracles is in the word. As the seed you plant, you plant it. It will bring forth fruits. The word of God is a seed. Once it enters in a man or a woman, it doesn't matter how cast you are. It doesn't matter whether you're going to die tomorrow. Something will happen. The word of God creates power and life. Listen, my friend. Jesus spoke the word. Jesus told the word. Simon anasikiliza, anashangaa, huyu kijana anafundisha kitu. Nasikia moyo wangu umebadilika. Then Jesus tells him, take your boat, take your nets, launch out into the deep. Shika samaki. Baada kusikia neno, shika samaki. 
baada kusikia neno shika baraka simunisaidie kusema amina you know strike go bidi peke yangu hapa tafadhali ngine ananiambia najua bishop i'm really meditating on that uongo na najua maandike nasema god is behind his word to confirm it god is watching his word after Jesus preached the word, akaambia Simon Peter yule alimpatia mashua, launch out into the deep, shika samaki. Alisimama hapo akiwatch his word. And after this sermon, after this word, God will watch his word to confirm it. Blessings utashika, baraka utashika, kupona utapona, kazi utashika, cheo utashika. Milango itafunguliba. Shout a big amen. I say shout a big amen. I am talking about your future. I am talking about your family. I am talking about your tomorrow. Even if you feel so empty, sit down, listen to the word of God. Miracles happen and something special is going to happen. Unajua nikisoma hii nanitia moyo kwamba baraka zangu ziko hapa. Baraka zangu ziko katika kusikia na baadaye natenda. Yesu akamwambia chukua nyafu, chukua mashua, sukuma. Weka nyafu kilindini. Simon akamwambia Yesu welewi, wewe ni muhubiri, ujui mambo ya baharini, ushikukuja tumejaribu kushika hata kidogo hatujashika. Lakini baada akafikiria tu aisakasema neno lake lina baraka, neno lake lina uwezo. Vile alikuwa anafundisha naona neno lake lina nguvu na akasema kadiri ya neno lako nitafanya. Na wewe hata mambo welewi, act on the word of God. Your life will change. Your family will change. Your tomorrow will change. Hata kile utapata utapata. Hata ile nyumba utajenga utajenga. Na kuambia hata ile gari unaomba soma salt wacha kuomba chukua neno la Mwenyezi Mungu. Majitesa left and right and the answer is there. Don't be the hearer of the word only, be ye the doers of the word so that you may be blessed in everything you do. Simon akasema, though I don't understand, nachukua neno lako. Na kuambia lipotupa nyafu. Maandike nasema samaki zilikimbizana mbio. Yesa liyamuru samaki zote baharini enda uko. God will always bless somebody who obeys his word. Webe angalia bome natia hii inatii neno. Webe angalia mwanamuna manamuke anatii neno. Baraka haombi baraka. Baraka zina mufuata. Nasema baraka zina mufuata. Nasema amani na mufuata. Kila kipaba kizuri na chema kina mufuata. We don't pray for blessings. We don't beg for blessings. We do the word of God and God commands blessings upon our lives. And may the word of God work in your spirit. And may God watch over his word. And may he command blessings in your family. In the name of Jesus. Hata kile kimiaribika ki amen hata mapepo ya amen hata corona ya amen hata umakali ya amen hata giza ya amen hata rochafu ya amen kwa sababu meti sauti ya buwana you are entitled to get the best and the best is yet to come I am telling you my friend, I am giving you the solid word. Simon Peter, nyafu zikaja, akajaza mafshua. Nyafu zinaja, anajaza majua. Na bebe jaza, tena jaza. Nasema jaza, tena jazwa. Nasema jaza, tena jazwa. Nasema jaza, tena jazwa. Hii kija, jaza hii. Hii kija, jaza hii. Ukipata shamba, tafuta gari. Ukipata gari, tafuta hii. God will bless you left and right and God will give you Give you the desires of your heart. Mungu atakujaza mpaka uwe baraka. Mungu atakujaza mpaka uwe ushinde. Nataka ni kuambie, you are going to be a blessed family. You are going to be a blessed man and woman. Things are going to change for a soul. Your family is rising higher and higher. The word of God has power to affect your society, to affect your situation and your circumstances. And I want to declare now, kile kimekuwa tupo kwa sababu na tisa uti ya buwana kita jazwa hiyo bahari utaona baraka hiyo bahari ya utaona michafuko hiyo bahari ya utaona asara the best is coming kuna samaki zina kutafuta kuna baraka zita kutafuta kuna gari ita kutafuta kuna shamba ita kutafuta kuna chewe ina kutafuta mambo mazuri ya takutafuta 
hautakuwa mtu na honga honga na kutafuta baraka they are going to look for you because you have taken God by his word Simon mashua ikaja na maandiki nasema ikaanza kuzama God is going to bless you paka baraka ziwazamishe Mkristo mzuri anachemka Akai ni kama nasema sasa ziko wapi ziko kwa neno sema samaki ziko kwa neno gari iko kwa neno shamba iko kwa neno baraka ziko kwa neno ushindi uko ndani ya neno Simon alipochukua neno la Yesu akalitekeleza mambo yalibadilika katika ile bahari ya michafuko katika ile bahari ya upungufu katika utupu huo when you take God by his word your life will never be the same mazingira ya kwenu itabadilika stima itakuja barabara itapita hapo sema amina eh kachi usio wakati wa kusema mimi ni mnyonge bwana Ninangoja Yesu rudi haraka dunia tumeteseka oh bwana mpaka lini mpaka lini hata wale wanaenda mbele yetu walienda kwa Mungu akamwambia mpaka lini Mungu akamwambia malaika washone manguo wavae vizuri waweke mali waburudike kuna siku yao mtawalipisia kisasi and since we are alive in this planet earth let's see the gospel work for us i say let's see the gospel work and the gospel works anywhere where you dare to believe i am saying we are going out i'm going out not we are going out i'm going out anyway can we say amen i'm talking as a person as when you tamo kama tutaenda ama utabakia for the ever backward samaki zilija nyafu samaki zikaja mashua mpaka mashua ya samu ni kanta kusama na baadaye maandike nasema Simon akaanza kuita Andrea, akaanza kuita Yakobo, akaanza kuita kina Yohana, watoto wa Zebedayo, akamwambia njoo mubarikibe. God will bless you and to till you become a blessing to your family. Amen. Na usiwe mchoyo Mungu akikubariki. Maana wachoyo wananyanganywa. Mwambie mwenzako hakuna uchoyo. Sasa sikiliza hii. Simon alipona miujiza kama hii. Na akasema in the natural it was impossible. In the natural tena kuvua samaki asubuhi mchana tunavuanga usiku. This must be a miracle. Alirudi kwa Yesu akapiga magoti akasema Yesu mimi ni mwenye dhambi toka mbele yangu. When you discover you are weak and without him you can do nothing you will go very far. Then do you know what Jesus did? Yesu akamwambia Simon amuka kutoka leo Hautavua samaki utavua watu Utavua nini Na hakuna mtu aliyevua watu na kaubiri injili ya miujiza na maishara baada ya kufufuka kwa Yesu vifukifuli chake kinaponya watu watu walivutatu wanaokoka in, in message moja siku ya Pentecost alihubiri ni Simon Peter more than 3000 God saved the next day wakaombea kiwete katika mlango mzuri 5000 people God saved that is what I'm talking about people are out there let us go and get them in the name of Jesus kuna wenye dhambi wengi they need the gospel Kuna watu walienda kupigana vita Baadaye wakageukiana Wakageukiana kupigana tena hawapigana na adui sijui nini nilitokea Captain alikuja akawaambia Ninyi mnapigana hapa na adui wa kupigwa yuko huko nje Waachana mambo mengi go out there and fight Kwa hivyo watakatifu wa shirika wanafunzi wa Yesu makanisa wacha kupigana ndani Wacha kusengenyana ndani. Wacha mashindano ndani. Adui yuko huko nje, let's go out there and fight. If you think you can talk, let's go out and talk. Wana wengine they are very good in talking masengenyo. Chukua badilisha hiyo, uhubiri Yesu wane, utabariki watu sana. Hiyo mdomo mrefu. Hiyo mdomo mrefu peleka nje na uweke hii na kuambia utabariki watu. Utaombea wagonjwa watapona. Utaambia pepo toka katika jina la utaona mapepo yakitoka badala ya kungangana na wamama wengine ndani ya kanisa na wazee. Na kuangalia watu na, na, na macho mbaya. 
Inani le amevaa namna gani? Hiyo sio kazi yako. Can we say amen? Can we say amen? Kazi yako ni kujua na na Mwenyezi Mungu. Kazi yako ni kuombeana moja na mwingine. Hata usipona mshirika kanisani, muombe ama mpigie simu. Haleluya. Hata kuna washirika wengine akiwa kanisani mimi nawahubiria. Baada nikikutana moja huko nje na mwambia why you in church on Sunday? Man I'm not there to be preaching looking at everybody. Nitakosa a message. Ananiambia yes bishop, how was there? Huko niona. Naambia nilikuwa nataka kujua kama ulikuwa huko lakini nilikuona. Lakini baada na muuliza nilihubiri nini? Sasa hapo ndio nashika mtu. Sasa hapo ndio nashika mtu. Unaanza kuona kichwa kinafanywa hivi. Dan rubs na jack kwa jacket. In other words, unaweza kuhubiriwa vizuri na uelewi. Unaenda huko unjasema today it was fire. Unaambiwa can you give us that fire? Ungekuwako. Huyo ni Mkristo aise kusaidika. Kwa hivyo Yesu lengo na Shabani kumwambia the way umeona umesika samaki wakati mzimu mbaya wakati naonekana iwezekani sasa nabadilisha hiyo nataka nikwambie hilo napenda samaki sana na mimi napenda nafsi sana sasa endo unisaidie tushike watu sio na pingu na neno so ndio sababu ni vizuri kueleva a soul winner never loses a soul winner will be blessed na ndio sababu kiangalia wakati petro aliwa gerezani kwa sababu ile kazi mungu alimpa ilibidi yesa mutoe maana alikuwa jamaliza kazi yake na kama alikuwa ameimaliza maifanyi vizuri angemwacha gerezani na wewe angalia vizuri in your life there are dangers and problems mungu atakuokoa because you love souls you want them to know jesus hata kanisani unajaribu kuleta moja mbili kanisani si unapita tu watu Ukisoma kitabu cha Mariko tano Yesu akiambia wanafunzi wake, ingia ndani ya mashua tuvuke ngambo. Kuna nafsi alikuwa anaenda kutafuta huko. Mtu alikuwa amepagawa na mapepo mpaka amekuwa mwenda wazimu. Mwenda wazimu. Mapepo 2000 in one man. Dangerous. Wazazi walijaribu kumsaidia kijana, watu wa community wakajaribu wanafunga ena pingu wanafunga ena minyororo anakata anaenda milimani kwa makaburi anajikatakata analia na hiyo barabara was a no go zone because of this madman hata society ingemsaidia hata askari wange msaidia hakuna gereza ingemsaidia hakuna yeyote angemsaidia wa ndugu na badada it is only the gospel the power of god through jesus christ which helped that man that is why i'm saying out there there are mad people mad people in one or another confused in life kuna wanaume na wanawake wanamejama stress depression look at them my friend it is dangerous ndio sababu nasikia huko nje watu wanajinyonga mzaa na kata jamii yake anamaliza na choma nyumba wengine anachukua msichana anachukua mtoto anaenda kichakani na kamba maana life has no meaning anaona giza na shetani anamwambia maliza na huyu mtoto pia anaweka kamba na funga wanakufa wote makosa sio yao ni yetu tumekaa ndani sana na tungependa na tunapenda kusikia news Now most of the time when you hear those news it is bad news especially now bad news lamu bad news meru bad news kisi kwetu bad news na lazima niende nihubiri kisi bad news bad news we are not going to sit here and die na watu wanakufa can we say amen No wonder wana Twitter kuja bishop tusaidie tumaini laja tumaini TV kuja tusaidie kutoka Bungona tusaidie kutoka Garissa tusaidie kutoka Mombasa tusaidie sasa hivyo ndivyo wanaita na sisi tukubali mwito wa watu It's not by might or power it's by the spirit of God we have the bible my friend we have the holy spirit let's go out there and help people 
And a church which is full of the Holy Ghost and the Word of God, and they know the commission of Jesus Christ, they will not be entertaining people in the church and building the empires. We are here to build the kingdom of God, starting from a place like here. You don't go to a good place, you go to a bad place to show who, 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 who God is. Who is God is. Who is God Maandike na sema muenda wazimu wa gadarina Akafesi yeye Giza ikakutana na nuru Mauti ikakutana na uzima Shetani ikakutana na mungu Injili is the power of God You cannot know what you have Until you are confronted with evil You cannot My friend I've seen miracles hivi I have seen the power of God working in me and through me hivi Na sio bure unaenda mahali pale wanasema haiwezekani. Baadaye what is in you inabomoa kile akiwezekani nje. Unafungua watu wale in life wameenda kwa waganga na kwa wachawi imesindikana. Wewe tu neno moja hiyo kamba zinapatikana. Wewe tu naongea kitu ile kuzimu inahama, ile nyumba ilikuwa wakuzama inasafishika, ile bomu ilikuwa inakufa inaanza kupata uzima. Yule mwanamume na mwanamke walikuwa wamesema amelaaniwa, hawatatoka chini, injili ya Yesu inamkuamua na baadaye wanaleta faida duniani. Who can do that? It's only the gospel preachers who can give an answer and a solution to this world, not to musicians and not artists. You don't entertain a demon. I say you don't entertain a demon. I say again, we are not here to entertain you. We are here to help you. See Jesus, what he did for you. Be saved, be healed, be delivered, and then become a blessing. That is why it's very important. Angalia Yesu, peke yake, na baba. Wanakutana na yumu enda bazimu. Mwenda bazima nanguka kwa migu yake Pepo zinaanza kuongea Yesu, Yesu, mwana wa mungu Tunanini na bebe Umekuja kututesa Kabla wakati wetu The devil knows his day But do you know your day yourself? Chetana najua siku yake Na ana namuambia Yesu Umekuja kututesa Kabla wakati wetu Si utuwacha tutesa yu mutu Tomusumbue Yes, I can say maskiliza pepo We are here not here to negotiate And that is why we don't talk to demons we cast them out. I say we cast them out. Jesus said, go and do what? Cast out devils, not negotiate. Pata mubira na ungea na pepo for 15 minutes. Tell me, how far have you come from? Nanameka mkono mfuko, pride, arrogance of the highest order. A servant of God will always know it is God at work, not him. Alava na mbiyo otosikiliza muone, si munasikia. Ngoja kwanza ni kunywe maji. Naambia pepo nyamaza hivi if you don't move. Na watu wanashangaa muhubiri sio pepo. <laughs> and I want to declare the gospel is not a show. The gospel is the power of God. I say the gospel is the power of God. Nijulikane ni sijulikane is not my business. I want Jesus ajulikane. Yes, I can say after you have done what you have done, say you are unprofitable servant. You did what you are commanded. Simple as that. Na huyo ndugu na dada ataenda mbali. Na hapa tunaona yes, aliambia pepa itoke. Iingie kwa ngurue. Na ngurue zika ingiwa na mapepo 2000. Na nataka ni kuambie, huyo mwanamuma akawa na akilita antimamu mbele ya yesu. Na naamini yes, alimushugulikia. Maana alikuwa na turesha rapa na itua Judas. <laughs> Akamwambia Judas can you do something here Peter John can you do something nywele yake miharibika sana safisha yeye murembeshe kabisa vae vizuri maana sasa naenda kuhubiri injili <laughs> maana sasa naenda kufanya nini simuseme kwa sauti yeah. 
hatukuokolewa batukae makanisani tungoje Yesu aje twende mbinguni tuliokolewa twende huko nje tuhubiri injili tulete mengi kwa Yesu ili Yesu akija apate kanisa lake liko ready Ukisoma hiyo maandiko chapter 5 ya Mark inasema baada ya Yesu kumusafisha ndani na nje akaja kaka kwa, kwa miguu ya Yesu na akili timamu na unajua ukiwa na akili timamu hata mavazi ni timamu ukiwa na akili timamu hata ma, kila kitu ni timamu na unajua akamwambia Yesu sasa wacha nikufuate na Yesu akamwambia usinifuate enda ambia jamii yako mambo makubwa Mungu amekutendea in other words now be a soul winner <laughs> become an evangelist and the bible says he went preaching everywhere ki akanta kuhubiri hakujua john 3:16 hakujua john chapter 4 verse 4 hakujua anything he simply went and talked about jesus hata kana kwamba ujui maandiko wewe sema yesu anaweza wewe sema yesu anaponya sema yesu anaokoa sema yesu ni mwana wa mungu hiyo ndio the gospel sema yesu alikufa kwa ajili yetu akamwaga damu na kwa mapigo yake tumeponywa that is the gospel you don't have to preach like me my friend you don't have to preach like other people don't even try preach jesus and him crucified i say preach jesus and him crucified utaona matokeo utaona miujiza utaona vipofu wanaona waenda wazimu watafunguliwa viwete watatembea wanaume na wanawake watasikia bari njema na usikilize ndugu na dada yesu akasema lazima niende samaria na maandiki nasema unajua wa samaria na wayahudi walikuwa wasikilizani hata wa, hata wanafunzi wa yesu wakashangaa unapita huko na juzi karibu upigwe Yesu akamwambia mtu anapotembea kwa mchana hajikwai twende Kumbe kuna mwanamke huko anahitaji habari njema anahitaji mwangaza anahitaji maisha yake badilike amesumbuliwa na wanaume shida yake ilikuwa ni men Mpaka katengwa kabisa na watu wa Samaria na suka anaenda mutoni wakati wa mama wengine wanaenda asubuhi yeye aende maana anaweza kutwangwa Mama mwingine anatamtengeneza sawa sawa na mandoo. Kwa hivyo anangoja asubuhi wameteka maji, wamerudi nyumbani saa sita jua kali ndio kana anatokea na kamtungi. Anaenda maana anajua hapa wa mama wote wako ndani ya nyumba. Na Yesu akajua leo ni leo. Na mimi nakwambia leo ni leo. Na mimi nakwambia mabadiliko yanakuja. Na mimi nakwambia utabarikiwa. Na mimi nakwambia utaokoka. Na mimi nakwambia kuna moja akija njia yako anakupatia maji ya uzima, hautaona kiu tena. Hey, leo ni leo. Na maandiko yanasema Yesu akafika kwa kisima kinaitwa cha Yakobo na akakaa. Yes akaka akaambia wanafunzi wake enda sokoni Judas can you give uh, somebody money wanunue nyama <laughs> wakati wanaenda kununua nyama yes akabaki katika kisiwa kisima cha Yakobo paka wakasema ende waacha tununue nyama haraka kabla mwokozi hajatoka waliporudi wakapata anaongea na mwanamke na kuna watu wakipata ukiongea na mwanamke wanasema unaona wanaambia bibi yako <laughs> wewe mambo yako ikuisha ni nini wacha tu Jesus you know these guys are thinking wrong they don't know what why I'm here we are not here because of anybody we are not here because of anything we are here to make people know Jesus be saved change their lifestyle and go to heaven. Na maandiko yanasema walipomwambia mwalimu siukule hii nyama. Akasema sikuli, wakauliza, ni huyu mama amekuletea chakula? Maana walifikiria. Akasema hapana, mimi nina chakula kila muoni. Na chakula gani hiyo? Kufanya mapenzi ya baba wakati unaleta nafsi kwa bwana unatia wengine moyo unaombea wagonjwa una encourage others you are doing the will of god hiyo ni nyama kushinda steak ya mombasa hiyo inashinda tilapia yesu akawaambia nina chakula hamujui 
chakula changu ni kufanya mapenzi ya baba na mapenzi ya baba ndio hii for this purpose the son of god was manifested to do what to destroy to destroy what the works of the devil in human being yes alikuja kuharibu kaza shetani ndani ya mwanamke msamaria ile rombaya ya kuvunja nyumba za wamama wengine vuruga manyumba kweli eh, na ustuki Najua sasa mwingine anafunga jicho moja, fungwa yote mbili. Na hiyo ndio shida yako. Na hiyo hiyo nafungia jicho will drown you one day. Na ukifungua macho useme Bwana Yesu nisaidie, God will help you. Mungu hajashindwa kukulisha, Mungu hajashindwa kukuvalisha, Mungu hajashindwa kukubariki. Huyu mwanamke sikiliza. Yesu alimwambia enda ita Bwana yako. Akasema sina Bwana, sina Bwana at least you are sincere. <laughs> Yes, I can be as very true. You are a very sincere lady. Hata sasa yule ulio nayo sio wako. Ah, akasema ulijuaje? Lazima huyu mnabii. Asema sikiliza. You have been having five. Na hiyo ni wa sita. Mwanamuka akaweka mutungi chini. Akasema nipe maji. <laughs> nipe hiyo maji, nipe hiyo maarifa, nipe hiyo ufahamu. Yesa kumubilia ujumbe faya. Faya, faya. Na wanafunga wanasema faya, 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 faya. Kwa kisima cha Yakobo. Wanaruka juu soma sotu. Wakina Yakobo, wakina John, wakina Petro. Wanasema Jesus, preach it. Hakuna iyo. You cannot. Neno la mungu kilifundisha vizuri itafanya kazi. Waliona tu mwana muka na muka. Anaenda mujini. Na Yesu wanamwambia Yesu sasa situende asema ngoja kidogo Mimi nilikuja kuvua samaki nilikuja kuokoa nafsi huyu mwanamke tungoje tuone matokeo ya wokovu na watu wangependa kuona matokeo ya kuokoka kwako Nasema watu wangependa kuona matokeo ya wokovu wako Hata Yohana aliambia watu leta matundi yanalingana kutubu kwenu Otherwise shoka ndio hiyo Usikia kelele kutoka east. Watu wanakuja wakimba. Hame tuambia. Hame pata mwanamume. <laughs> Jina lake ni yesu. Waja tuwane. Maana liena kawambia. Come all men. Plus one, two, three, nye, five. Na wewa sita fuata mimi hapa. Na wanamume ungeo fuata. Yani mwanamuka alipata alikuwa komando. Mwanamuke alikomandu Sasa wanawake wa suka na samaria Wakasema ajachukua tano Wamechukua kichitikizima <laughs> Unajua even women Who are so cute say this woman is possessed Sasa not possessed by demon She is possessed by tama She is possessed by the word of God She is possessed by the Holy Ghost She is possessed by the truth When you know the truth The truth will set you Be possessed by the truth be possessed by the word of God. I say be possessed by the gospel. Yani wanaume walikimbia mbio wakipaza sauti. Na naamini wanawake wote wa muji. Bada walikuwa naona wanaume wametoka mbio wanafuata mwanamke moja. Wakasema leo mama yule ni kuwa. She cannot steal mpaka sasa. Sazile wanakimbia. Waka, akawaleta kwa nani? Akawaleta kwa nani? Si musimame museme, akawaleta kwa nani? Si musimama na museme, akawaleta kwa nani? Si musimame na museme, wakamuleta kwa nani? Sema kwa Yesu, haba kumuleta kwa Maria, hakuwaleta kwa Josephu, hakuwaleta kwa Petro, na sisi tuwachukue, tuwaleta kwa Yesu, leta wagonjwa kwa Yesu, leta wanda wazimu kwa Yesu, leta wanyadambi kwa Yesu, huyu mwana muke, hakaleta wanaume wote kwa Yesu, na bada kawambia, njoo mwana mutu, hameniamia mambo yote, come and see a man, when they came to Jesus, the man, and I want to say, the really man is Jesus, Jesus Christ. I say the really man is Jesus Christ. If you have another one, forget about him. I want you to shout and jump. And I mean be crazy for Jesus. I ungwana imearibu makanisa ati wanangojia kuenda binguni kufanya nini? Na hapa chini you are not even displaying the glory of the one who died for you. Mwana mukia kaonyesha the truth. Wanaume wakapata yesa meka kwa kisima. 
na baada ye mwanamke alifika akamwambia Yesu sikiliza among us the six wako hapa sasa wengine i don't know wamefuata wamekuja kukuona baby can you tell them something na maandiki nasema yes akakaa na akazumuza juu ya maji ya uzima juu ya uzima milele juu ya binguni wanaume wote wakapiga magoti wakamwambia mwanamke ile ulituambia ni nusu sasa tumeona na si tumekubali wanawake wengine walipokuja wakapata wazee they are on their knees akasema hey what is happening na wanaona mtu amesimama anawaombea wanawake wote wakasema mama kuja hapa forgive us wakapiga magoti families are going to get saved families are going to get saved can you shout amen sio wewe peke yako yesu alikuja kufia so don't monopolize the gospel straight for to your hand don't monopolize the gospel kwamba ni kanisa yetu for god so loved the world so much he gave his beloved son that whosoever believes in him shall never perish but have eternal life the bible says and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached all over the world to all the nations as a testimony then the end shall come I am telling you this is the way to go now. I say this is the go to go now. I say this is the way to go now. If you want to live longer. If you want to see the power of the gospel, this is the way to go now. Are you there? Are you getting it? Si Yesu aliyokuwa mwanamke mmoja na mwanamke mmoja akaleta wanaume wote suka. Na huo akajisalamisha kwa Yesu. Na huo nafanya nini? Na huo nafanya nini? And that's why we should be a testimony. Hata mali tumetoka. Kwamba tuliokoka kabisa. Can we say amen? So that they may see a difference. Sema amina. Paulo akasema Roman 1:16. For I'm not ashamed of what of the gospel of who of Jesus Christ. And yo sawa Paulo aliambia kwa Galatia, ni yeyote akija waambilie injili nyingine ala than the gospel to mahubiria na alaaniwe. Sisi tutahubiri injili ya msalaba and the gospel of Jesus is the power of God. In other words, the power is in the gospel. I say the power is in the gospel. I say the power is in the gospel. We are ready to go out. to preach this power I'm not ashamed of the gospel so why are you ashamed my sister hata kubeba biblia ndani ya matatu unaificha tena kwa blanket ile kitambaa unatoa ukiingia kwa matatu unafunga watu wasijue umeokoka yani your lifestyle is so mysterious and then the bible says we are the light of the world we should shine how can you shine if you don't know the gospel You are so ashamed hata kushuhudia bwana yako. You are so ashamed hata kushuhudia mke wako. You are so ashamed hata kuambia watoto wako juu ya you are so ashamed no wonder giza imejaa kwako. No wonder magonjo yaishi malaria yaishi. No wonder no wonder no wonder. No wonder nasema Marita ubiri a a na wewe kubali Yesu. Hapa tunakufundisha ukishapata injili usione haya. Wacha majirani wajue umeokoka. Nasema wacha majirani wajue wameokoka. Wacha watu kazini kwenu wajue umeokoka. Sio wakati tu unapiga chafya ndio unasikia Jesus. <laughs> Hawajawahi kusikia kumondomo wako Yesu mpaka chafya zipigwe. Yesu asubuhi. Yesu mchana. Yesu jioni Yesu mujini Yesu mashambani Yesu sokoni Yesu babara, barabarani ukiwa ndani ya matatu Jesus ukiwa ndani ya gari Jesus ah kama mzaji aokoka atakuangalia na jichombaya shida ni yake usijali hata mwingine anakuambia hii Yesu yako uchoka ngina yeye utachokaje na mtu hakuchoka msalabani 
Utachokaje na mtu aliyetemewa mate, aliyopigwa mijeledi, akavuliwa nguo kama nusu uchi, akapigwa vibaya na ni mumba na hakuchoka. Misumari inaingia, damu inatoka nawekewa miiba. Damu inajaa kwa uso. Anaangalia baba, anaona baba amemwacha gize mejaa, analia baba yangu, Mungu wangu mbona umeniacha? Na akokavumilia mpaka dakika ya mwisho akapigana na nguvu kwa msalaba zile ungepigana nazo according to Colossians chapter 2 nguvu za giza zikaja zikamlalia kwa msalaba he fought them thick and thin for you and for me how can you be tired na who ashamed to such a person Wengine hawana aibu kufanya dhambi. They are not ashamed to do evil. They are ashamed of the gospel. Wengine hata hawana aibu kunywa kidogo. Tena wanateremusha kwa karumu kake. Na ni kitu kikali. Yeye anafanya vitu ati umeokoka. Na Mungu anakuangalia. Anakuuliza, hii ndio gospel? In your gospel. I love Matusi huachi. Hiyo ndiyo gospel. Na ni mama meokoka. Muzea meokoka. Shana ndiyo hiyo kiburi kweli. Thamo stati meja kichwa. Mimi na kusaidi. I was there my friend. But thank God for the cross. But thank God for Jesus. But thank God for the blood. Hallelujah. I'm simply telling you. The gospel is the power of God. Once you get the gospel, what did Jesus, Jesus, Jesus did for you on the cross? You will change. Kuna mambo hutabacha itakuacha. Mimi sikuacha pombe liniwacha. Ana kabla zijaoka niliacha mara tatu na nikarudia. Unapigwa ama unanika nani ya mutharo, unapatikana huko, unatolewa naambiwa kijana utakufa. Nasema kutoka leo sitakunywa, kutoka leo sitakunywa. Baba yaka na kuonya sawa sana Sema malita ngu kuore ngu kuore Ama ruwa ngu kuita Obono bono na atikire bono na atikire Siku mbili tatu tena naanza kutafuta Wacha ni kutena na yesu Aligonga hiyo kitu maramoja mpaka leo That's why I'm encouraging you Usi wache kitu mkubali yesu Mano mejaribu meshindwa Usome Roman 7 ita kusaidia uwelewe There are things you have tried to leave Nisheria ikondani ya mwili wako Unless Unless Another law comes of the life in Christ. Either Roman said it too, you cannot. I wonder how sick you are. You are saying, "Manani ameni roga." I could not do my job. Wongo wachi. I was saying, "Maile wongo mweupe." Now me o koko wongo mweupe. I was saying, "There is white lie, as if there is a black lie." Why do you baptize a lie from black to white? Hatu mewacha zile njimbo za kutukuza mungu. Unasema we are just human beings. God knows you are a human being. And the Bible says he's a God of all flesh. But there's nothing too difficult for him. That's why Jesus came to die for us. Can we say amen? Paul said I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto what? So salvation is in the gospel. Apana wakombeza watu. Apana pigia watu kelele. Just give them the gospel. Show them what Jesus did for them. Salvation is there. As simple as that. I remember the first time nilio koka. Nilisoma mandiko tunanzia Judea, Samaria. No, tunanzia wapi, Jerusalem. Nikaita kijijikizima. Kwa ubiria. Wakasema waja tusikie mtoto wanania na taku tuambia nini. Mana tunamujua. Walipokuja, wakano nimetoa Bible. Nikaambia mujue kutoka leo nimeokoka. Na nimekubali Yesu. Na nataka nyote muokoke. My mother was there, my father was there, and my brother. And all the village. Did you know? Wengine walisema, huyu kijana natuambia nini? Situna mujua hapa. Nyesuza natuambia meokoka, meokoka utuwa kwa nini? Nakumbuka moja alichukua panga. Akaniambia na hiyo njili yako anza kuambia miguu ikusaidie. Lakini Mungu akaniambia you have done good. You have become a witness from where you are. Nataka kumwambia yule aliniua panga na akakataa kuokoka. Hayuko hayo. 
na jamii yake melaniwa mpaka leo yani laana ziliingia left and right akafa watoto na kufa kila mambo inaharibika because of that act unadharawi ile case two years alifanya msalabani na wale walikubali mpaka leo wengine wameenda mbali waliokoka wameenda mbali na ndio sawa nawaambia injili ni nguvu za Mungu just tell people for a witness if they accept it well and good if they don't you have done your part yes alisema nyumba yote mnaingia mnapopeleka injili mkikaribishwa wacha nini hapo wacha amani hapo ama baraka hapo wakikataa fanya hivi hiyo nyumba hukumu itakuwa mbaya kuliko Sodoma na Gomora kwa hivyo miguu yetu ina, ina nguvu na hii miguu tuipeleke huko nje kuna bomba zitabarikiwa wale watakubali watabarikiwa kuna shopping centers who are going to change for the best hii miguu ikienda can we say amen kuna town tutaenda towns tofauti Kenya mzima na hii miguu zitabarikiwa wakitupokea tutawacha baraka wakitutukana na kutudharau sio sisi ni Kristo laana abakia hapo that's how the gospel works and that's why some of you have gone far and you'll go very far because of the gospel mulipokea watu wa Mungu mkatupokea kama watu wa Mungu mkasimama na sisi kama watu wa Mungu mkata support kama watu wa Mungu na Mungu atazidi kusimama nanyi na kuwa support mpaka mwisho ata support wewe na watoto wako na wajuku wako na useme amen you will never go under Listen to this the gospel is the channel of God's power The gospel is the channel of God's power Kwa hivyo injili ni njia ama mfereji wa nguvu za Mungu Kama unataka kuwa na nguvu za Mungu jua injili Injili ni ile kazi Yesu alifanya msalabani The secret channel of power is the gospel power Ini channel ya kisiri ina nguvu ni injili. Waja ni kuambia leo. Luka tena mano Roman ameshika injili hivi na anaipenda injili hivi. Angalia maisha yake. Ana nguvu kuzima iwezi kuzima. Ana nguvu wachawi hawezi kuzima. Ana nguvu waganga hawezi kuzima. Ana paba the gospel paba. Wanda Petro Samaria alienda Samaria Filipo paka wachawi na waganga wale walikuwa na stua watu na miujiza ya ubandia miujiza ya kipepo walipona nguvu za injili hata walimwambia wamuuzie roho mtakatifu they saw the gospel power they saw something different and that is why we have the power of god my friend listen we are not weaklings when god send us to this town of nakuru tuliambiwa mnaenda kufa huko mtashindwa Rift Valley mapepo ni makubwa but I had heard from God and I told my wife to watch Nairobi twende na kuru na uzuri akaniambia kama Mungu amekuzunguzia twende listen my friend I came with the gospel I came with the gospel we fought a good fight of faith miracles happen mpaka today you cannot defy them I say you can't defy them people were saved challenged revived the ones who accepted and received us in the name of Jesus they never remain the same spot again the gospel is the channel of power philip went down to samaria and preached jesus the gospel see the result and in a village with the gospel it will change it will change wewe wachawi hapo walevi hapo dhambi za kila aina hapo don't even think about it as a matter of fact light works more in darkness where evil is in rampant where the gospel kirushwa ni kama moto inatoka na nguvu za ajabu so don't underestimate the power of the gospel can we say amen that's why paul said i'm not ashamed of the gospel of jesus christ for it is the power of god unto salvation to who to everyone that believeth to the jew first and also to the greek and also to the mukisi na wewe jaza yako si ujaza yako kama una kabila ni sawa mimi ni mukisi original 
nikaokoka nikawa kiumbe kipya ndani ya Yesu original so we are not just saying oh najua kuna mali nimetoka lakini Yesu amenitoa huko ameniambia twende mbele na kitu gani kilinitoa huko sio masomo sio anko yangu alikuwa tajiri akaniambia Marita kuja hapa <laughs> ni jili siliwaambia nilikuwa nimeenda kufa and in 69 enda kufa na inkapata na injili kaniambia wacha kufa ishi enda ubiri na ndio sababu niko hapa na mimi nakwambia hautaenda chini na mimi nakwambia hautazama na wewe nakwambia sauti nakwambia mtaweza na injili mtaweza kujenga mtajenga and you are going to come up and go very high the gospel is the power of god and to salvation to everyone that believes are you a believer yes. you are going very far are you a believer yes. you are blessed are you a believer you are healed are you a believer god is going to give you the best not only in this life even the life to come salvation is yours yes. once you get this you walk like a child of god Sema amen. amen. Na ndio sababu nguvu za Mungu zimefichwa ndani ya injili. The power of God is hidden in the gospel. It's not in the bush. It's not in the prayer center. It's not in your church. It is hidden in the I'm teaching you things God has taught me. Zamani nilikuwa najitesa sana. Mungu akaniambia omba kwa sababu nasema omba funga kwa sababu nasema fu usiende mpaka unakosa ile ladha ya maisha sasa ishi kama vile ninavyokufundisha the power is hidden in the gospel and jesus is the gospel christ in you the hope of glory riches and honor are with me says the lord once you have jesus in your heart you have the power of god i'm not saying you don't discipline yourself you discipline yourself now when a self control I'm not saying you become so careless as of the gospel. Naweza kuingia kwa bao na ukae katikati tena atini na injili. Sema wako pa Mungu. So one of the hidden sources of power is the gospel. 1 Corinthians 9:23 nasemaje? I do everything to spread the gospel. I do everything to do what? To do to spread the gospel. Nafanya kila kitu kueneza injili. Injili ni habari njema and share in its blessings maana yake injili ina baraka sema injili ina baraka sema injili ina baraka paulo akasema nikija kwenu na waletea baraka za injili wherever the gospel of god is their blessings wherever the gospel of god is i want to assure you ina kifurushi kinaitwa baraka That is why napenda kusimama na wanaume na wanawake wana injili maana wamebeba kifurushi cha baraka. Any man and woman I find ana injili nitasimama na yeye nitasupport yeye maana najua amebeba kifurushi cha baraka. Sio wale wana vituko no the gospel Hapa Paulo anasema nikija kwenu I will do everything to spread the gospel the good news and share in its blessings Baraka zina inj- baraka ziko katika injili. Kwa hivyo Paulo anasema nikija na atangaza injili. Na usikilize ndugu tusaidiane na dada hapa. Hakuna mahali likuwa pabaya according the way I read katika safari za Paulo kama Efeso, kama Atheni, kama Macedonia na kama Korinto. Korinto alipoenda huko hakuna mtu alimsikiliza ni biashara left and right. Watu walikuwa wasikizi kabisa paka Paulo karibu aondoke paka Yesu akamtokea akamwambia usiwache kuongea injili nina watu wengi katika mji huu na mwisho wake alipata revival you could not beat Roho mtakatifu alishuka watu wakaokoka vipao ikaanza kufanya kazi soma juu ya Macedonia ilikuwa ni kama jangwa where there was no hope where there was no life where there was no development a place ungepatiwa bure ungechukua then God Mungu ana anasimsaidia anaona katika maombi anaona katika maono mtu anamuita kutoka Macedonia njo tusaidie njo hapo tusaidie Paulo akasema naona Mungu ameniita niende Macedonia na akaenda 
the hardest place ever, but he went with the gospel. I say went with the gospel. I say went with the gospel. I say went with the gospel. Not by might or power, by the gospel. And I want to assure you, after a few years, Macedonia was the same again. The best givers from Macedonia. Ile njeli yotokea dunia muzima Jerusalem walikuwa na njaa Walio support kanisa la Jerusalem Na kila kitu ni watu wa Macedonia Injili ili watajirisha Injili blessed them I don't care which desert you are in I don't care what wilderness you are in Accept the gospel The gospel italeta baraka kwenu The gospel itafanya watu wa kwenu wa so Amen Wana walisema kwenu wakuna mutu wa tenata nasari Kweli kabisa, they have a good reason wanaona hapa kuna kitu. Lakini njili na wengia. Wacha muna pita yu nasari, muna pita sekwenari, muna enda university. Kutoka hapa wanatokea ma lecturers, ma engineer, madu. Yani watu wanatokea mpaka wata nasema, hii mungu siyo mbaya. Yes, yeah, siyo mbaya. Njili ni nguvu za, inatoa ujinga. Ndiyo sababu pata mtu wana kuambia ukweli. Ile mtumishi wa Mungu unaona na ubiri kwa Tumaini TV, Dr. Joe Kayo, ni baba yangu. Nimesimama naye nimemtumikia nimemheshimu paka leo. Kitu aliniambia ni mbili tu. Kwanza aliniambia Marita, aliniambia kwanza sikiza kijana, sitaki ukisi hapa. Karibu nitafute Biblia nirudi kisi. Mungu akaniambia listen to this man. This is the man who has your destiny. This is the man who can guide you. This is the one who tells you the truth. Pili akaniambia. Na akaniambia niangalie. Hey, asa nikasema nitaambiwa kitu ni hame. Akaniambia sitaki mtu mjinga. Nikamwambia toa ujinga na alitoa. Na kuambia alitoa. Ukiniangalia navaa kama yeye. Ukiangalia mahubiri yangu saa zingine ni kama yake. Kuna kitu aliniambukizia. Ujinga alitoa. Akaniambia pana fast t-shirt. We ni mutu wa ishima. Va vizuri. Mpaka yo faith kani ingia. That's what I'm saying. You must get somebody who speaks into your life. So kila kitu na kila onadha kusikia. As a matter of fact, the word of God is good for correction, for rebuke. So that a man or a woman of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished. Nandiyo sababu na kubiria njili plus that. Na kubiria maisha yako. Wana asfiye salama. Sema amina. Ndiyo sawa kuna vitu sikuambi, unaona tu vile niko, unafanya hivi. Ukitokia, kiwasuwasi, unajua hiyo, visho puwetu wapendi. Hivyo tu, naona balilisha. The gospel is so powerful, that you must first receive the power before you proclaim it. Injili na nguvu sana, lakini lazimo poke nguvu, ili upata kuitangaza. Matendo ya mitume 1.8 says And you shall do what? Receive power After what? The Holy Ghost has come upon you Then you shall be what? My witnesses In other words You cannot preach the gospel effectively Without the Holy Spirit Utachoka Hii miaka yote Tumesaidua na Rome Takatifu Obisho buchoki Itachoka jina na musaidisa Na ito nani Rome Takatifu Now as long as I have the Holy Spirit I know the gospel Sitachoka Mandike na sema, mutapokia nguvu, akisha kuja juye nuron takatif. And the moment the Holy Ghost came into my life, 1972, something changed. I received the power to become a witness for Jesus. That is the work of the church. That is the work of believers. To be empowered by the Holy Spirit in order to make the gospel effective. Weka mtu wa mejezo romu takatifu wapa, na mtu wa jejezo romu takatifu wapa, na na bibilia na jua maandiko, na huyo pengina jua maandiko, lakina na jua injili ya musalaba, wasikilize, utaona huyo na ulada na udamana kuliko yule. The letter kills, but the Spirit does what? Give life. Jesus said he was anointed with the Holy Ghost and power, with the word of God. He went everywhere doing good. That is why a genuine believer church must be full of the Holy Spirit and the word of God. And I want to assure you, 
mutaenda juu tena mbali sana you will become a solution and answer to humanity nikiendelea kumaliza i want to say this mpaka tuanze kutangaza injili hatutafika kelele ama kilele cha nguvu until we start to proclaim the gospel we have not yet arrived in the power realm tutapiga kelele mpaka tunywe panado tutapiga kelele mpaka vichwa vituume lakini wakati una oro mtakatifu na unahubiri injili nguvu utaziona nasema nguvu utaziona nguvu utafanya nini nguvu utaziona nguvu za kuokoa utaziona nguvu za mabadiliko utaziona nguvu za kuinuka utaziona until we preach the gospel hatujafika the realm of power we are still down there sisi ni kama ndege iko katika airport imepigwa rangi mzuri inaonekana maridadi lakini iko chini it shall take off wacha i take off then you know the power and the capacity in that plane ikishapaa iwe juu then you know hii kwa haikuwa ya bure na sisi tungependa power ya gospel iko ndani itupeleke juu nasema itupeleke juu nasema itupeleke juu itupeleke katika ile realm ya power they went everywhere preaching the gospel and the lord working with them confirming the word with signs and wonders that is the realm of power when i'm talking like this i'm also talking to myself god has given us opportunity equally it is us to preach the gospel the gospel is the good news about the kingdom of heaven and what jesus has already done for us on the cross he died he was buried on the third day he rose again that is the gospel maana mwingine atauliza gospel ni nini that's the gospel you look at the cross and you see what jesus did for you and then you proclaim it you see the power paul akambia wa corinthians 1:18 The preaching of the gospel to them who perish is foolishness but to us who are saved is the power of God simple preach the cross and see the power i say preach the cross and see the power enda mali mapepe mejaa inua yesu juu one yesu alisema nikinuliwa juu nitavuta watu wote kuja kwangu in other words the cross the gospel draws people to god Once we realize this it will be so easy for each one of us here to go out there. Tukisema tunaenda outreach shabab hakuna mmoja atafika hapa town ya hepe. Tukisema tunaenda langa langa ni langa langa tunapeleka nini injili. Tunaenda St Barnabas tunaenda wapi tunapeleka nini na tunaingia huko kama soldiers carrying the cross and the gospel the power of God. Usiende mali angalia watu vile ni walevi vile ni wanawazio sema hapa ni tabu hapa hapa bishop sasa hapa ni shida tuombe sana sio kuomba sana preach the gospel nasema preach the gospel nasema preach the gospel so the gospel is good news about the kingdom of heaven and what jesus did for us on the cross preaching the gospel is a part of the whole armor of god ile wa kristo wote wanatakikana kuvaa hii ni utamalizia baadaye mungu akipenda tutaongezea part 2 next week ephesians 6:15 inasemaje wa efeso 6:15 wa efeso 6:15 inasema nini kuanzia 14 basi simameni sema basi simameni hali mmejifunga ukweli viunoni mwenu na kuvaa diraa ya haki kifwani mwenu na kufungiwa miguu utayari upatao kwa njili ya amani hiyo ndio nataka usikie miguu yako umevaa viatu aina gani hapa nasema kwa miguu kufungiwa miguuni utayari in other words be ready with your feet 
Hapa nasema and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of God. Sasa tunaenda kuvaa viatu. Sema tunaenda kuvaa viatu. Tunaenda kuvaa viatu vinaitwa injili. Na tutavaa kila mtu. Eh, hey, kama utavaa nyoka na ngeo utaweza. Kama utavaa miba itakudhuru. Maana nike nasema tutakanyaga nyoka na nge. Lakini lazima tuwe na viatu. Hape nasema miguuni tuvae viatu. Sema tuvae viatu. Viatu na tuwe tayari. Kwa ajili ya njiri ya mani. You see the gospel. Ni kubiri juu ya amani mungu ametupatia through Jesus. Maana nike nasema kupitia kwa kristo. Mungu alikuja ajire, atur, aturulishe kwa baba. Kupitia kwa musalaba. Kwa hivyo ni musalaba wa amani. Mungu alikuwa na kisirani na bebe, Mungu alikuwa amekukasirikia, lakini kupitia kwa msalaba wa Yesu, sasa Mungu ametengeneza njia ya kuwa na amani na bebe. Na njia ni msalaba. So once you understand the gospel, na kuambia kwenda huko nje na kusema Yesu ni Bwana sio ngumu. Kusema yeye anaokoa sio ngumu. Kusema yeye anaponya sio ngumu. Kuambia watu kama Musa, angalia nyoka Yesu, nyoka ya shaba vile Yesu alinuliwa juu kwa ajili yenu, amechukua masikitiko yenu, kwa ajili yenu amepigwa mpone, amechukua maana it is so easy to show people what Jesus has already done for them. Utambia watu don't stay there He did it for you Don't die in your sins He did it for you Don't allow that disease and sicknesses to kill you By his stripes you have been healed Don't allow to be under curses Call them generation curses Jesus took your curses On the cross Look and leave Who is to tell them it's us And I'm going to do it Hallelujah Die doing something. Don't die doing nothing. Choko kifanya kitu, usichoko na sengenya, usichoko kingojia mamba hakuna. Be tired doing something. And I want to assure you, you will never go under. Mungu wata kongeze uthamana because unamutangaza mwana wako wa peke ana emusikiliza mwana na ile kazi alifanya. God will maintain you, God will bless you, God will increase you, multiply you, your generation shall be called blessed. Wacha kuwacha malana nyuma. Watu wa mungu wengi na juu wameenda nyumbani. Wamewacha baraka kwa jamii zao. Hakuna wengine wako wameshikilia injili. Wanajua baraka ziko kwa injili, sio kwa vituko ama mama mengine. The power of the gospel. The moment you carry the gospel and the cross, you are carrying the blessings of God. When you nakuwa first partake of the blessings, then you give them out. Iyo wa Efeso sita andika na we memorize. You are feel short with the preparation of the gospel of peace. In other words, preaching the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ, inatufungulia mulango wa mamulaka. You cannot enter mulango wa dominion and of success without the feet. Diku yako unaviatu vya njini. Wanda watu anashundwa left and right, no wanda no success, no nothing. Because abajengia katika ile dominion, tunasema dominion ya baraka ya mamulaka. Preaching the gospel and the goodness of Jesus in a tupatele tunasema grants you access to dominion. Yanu unaanza kwa jamii ya mamulaka. Mwanamume, hata kazini, people wana kogopa, kuna kitu huu na ayo, havana. Wherever you are, people see you and they wana stuka. Umepatua access to dominion because of the gospel. And I want to assure you, Anybody who touches you, touches God. Anybody who plays with the man and a woman of the gospel, he will never survive the wrath of God. Special privileges are bound to those who preach the gospel. Sema privileges ziko. Sema kuna marupurupu. Kuna faida. Kwa wala wanafanya nini? Wanaubiri injili, sio kwa wale wanakaa na kuomba na kufunga. Ni wale wanaubiri injili kuna privileges. 
And you also Psalm 28, verse 19 to 20, it guarantees God's presence when you preach the gospel. And we know when God is on your side, your dominion is guaranteed. That is the benefit of preaching. Ati mungu anakana webe. Presence yake anakana webe. Na ukiwa na mungu aliumba bingu na inchi. As a result of carrying the gospel, you are more than a conqueror. The same way that you are going to say, more than a conqueror, like you are going to say, more than a it's not all about what is written here. It's all about what you are doing through Jesus. You are guaranteed God's presence wherever you preach the gospel or wherever you mention Jesus. And then you will know if God is on your side and is with you and his presence, you have the dominion, you have the power. No wonder Moses Alisema, How can you live without the presence of God? How can you make it in this crooked world, especially these days, without the presence of God, my friend? Sanduku la mungu lipotolewa inchi ya wa israeli wa kanyanganyo, walipigwa left and right, until Dawdi alipoanza kutawala, likarudishwa, wakanza kuona wema wabwana. Na ningependa kusema hithi, yeyota naebeba injili ya Yesu, anaubiri musalaba, anasema Yesu ni buwana, anasema damu ya Yesu inatosha, anasema kile Yesu alifanya musalabani, uwepo wa buwana haumuachi. Na huyo mwanamume na mwanamuke, atatembea katika mamulaka. Dominion is yours. Power is yours. Authority is yours. You can bind and lose. Simple as that. Kuna mambo tafunga, hata wajaribu kufungua, haitafunguka na kuna mambo utafungua wapendo itafunguka beba injili ya bwana yesu tusimame zote mariko 16 tunapoenda kuomba na kushukuru bwana maana tunaenda kuvalishwa via tu via via tu via <laughs> eh hey, tunaenda kuvaa na kama umevaa thank god tutakuambia sasa enda nje kanyaga nyoka na nge tafuta Watu wanaitaji upendo wa mungu. Mariko kumna sita, mustari wa kumina ine. Wanzia kumna tana, akasema, akawambia, huyu ni Yesu, enendeni uli mwenguni muote. Sema tutaenda uli mwenguni muote. Sema tunaenda. Sema tutaenda. Toka tumeni TV tunaenda. Kwa Facebook tunaenda. Kwa YouTube tunaenda. I am telling you, we are taking off. In the name of? Yes. Eh. Yula ataki ndia ataenda. Kuna wanaume na wanawake watakuwa missionary kwa inchi za inje. Kuna wengi mungu ametoa hapa, mepeleka ngambo na kila mali. There are testimony. Those are witnesses that Jesus saves, keeps and blesses. And they have maintained the gospel of peace. No wonder wherever they go, they are accepted because of the gospel. Sema amina. Kwa hivyo hapa yesa na seme nenelu lumenguni muote, mukaibiri njili kwa kila kiumbe. Na bada na seme aminie na kubatizwa ataokoka. Asi amini ataukumiwa. Na ishara hizi stafuatana au aminio. Kwa jina langu, watafanya nini? Sema watatoa pepo. Na pepo lazima sitoke. Na sita toka bila kubiri injili. So if you want to see demons cast out, go where demons are. With the gospel. You will see them flee. You will see them yell and shout and come out. You will be excited kama wanafunzi wa Yesu. Buwana tuliona mapepo inatoka. Wagodi wanapona. Ngeza kwa ambia slow down. Yo mamulaka ni mewapa kwa sababu mweenda inje. Furaini kwa sababu majina enu imeanikwa binguni. Lakini ni yo benefit ya kubiri njili. Unaona the supernatural. Unaona the miraculous. Yanu unasimama tu nasema yesu ni buwana. Pepe na piga kelele na nguka chini na toka mtu. Hey. Ato unasema siu kujua. <laughs> Ulisema yesu. Kuna watu na kelele mikono hivi. Unasema in the name of Jesus. Pepe zimekami ya kaishirili zinatoka na ikamoja. Mutu anabadilika milele. Na bada na kuwa baraka. It's because we went where there was a need. And until you go where there is a need, the gospel is unworkable inside. Na mi ni mwambia mungu stai kuzeke andani. 
Ene nendo le mwengu ni muata mkaubiri njili kwa kila kiume eh? Amini na kubatisua tawakua tumesoma hiyo Na ishara isa fuatana wala wa aminio Kwa jina langu watatua pepo Na muende mutua pepo Katika jina la yesu ya, ya, I say miju ya waubiri hapa Inasema juu ya believers Wa aminio Lakini lazima tufanya mambo for the glory of God yeah. Ukipata mtu mgonjwa nyumbani Ama mahali hapa na sema mimi siyo bishop Alavo naanza kuchukua asema sema bishop there is a case here i know you are the one who was the anointing to you know you, you, your anointing is heavy who told you it's heavy the name of jesus is heavy the gospel is the power of god jesus is the name which is above every here it says amen it's good to teach you right when you find sick people don't call me lay hands on them and say in the name of jesus ukisikia pepe inalia sema ha ya 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 hallelujah Mwita bishop. Sasa tumejua hii pepo imetoka. I will come and look at you and say. Ebu itoe. Na nisimame hapa ni kuambia ni wame nita ndiyo. Bamba na, na nifunge mulangu ambia toa yu pepo. Si unajina la yesu. Amo naenda kutuwa pepo katika jina la marita. Ita kutuanga sawa sawa. Utapigwa kama watoto wa skeva. What we are talking about is the gospel. Not what I did for you. But what Jesus did for us on the cross, all of us. So when you find a demon, don't look for an elder of the church. Do it. Cast it out. Ukiombea mutu, wamekuambia na ugonjwa hapa, unajua kansa, imi nisumbua sema, utapona, tumefundisi, tuweke mikona juu ya, unasema in the name of Jesus, you cancer die. Katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah, amini. Na unaenda. Alavu kecha na kuambia, nani, siuli niombea jana kansa, ilienda. Na wanjua u, by way, by way, Ilienda Kabisa kabisa Wewe liomba kwa imani ndio Si uliambia yondoke ndio Si meondoka ndio Can't you say thank you Jesus That in the hands of a believer God performs miracles The Bible says in the hands of the apostles God performed special miracles And I command you in the name of Jesus Your hands are blessed As a believer We are preparing you for something great from here CRC to many television. We are preparing you for the greater works. John 14, 12. Greater works than this shall we do. Because Jesus is not here. He has gone back to the Father. He has given us the authority and the mandate. To demonstrate his power through his name. It's going to happen in Jesus name. And the Bible says here. Watatua mapepo. Watasema kwa luga mpia. Watashika nyoka hata wakinywa kitu cha kufisha hakita madhuru kabisa hii sehemu mbili usitafute kushika nyoka si sehemu uende usitafute nyoka kama vile mmoja huko ngambo nasikia aliyesoma hii maandiko akatafuta nyoka ati kuibambana na ilimuua na akaenda kaburi na nimwamini nasema ile inakuvamia ukuona nasema juu ya mtu naweza kwenda mahali dunia na mambo mengi watu wakuonae wivu wa kuwekea sumu na ujui Unateremusha kwa sawe ni muaminio na ujui. Na badewa wanaona sasa ndio naishi vizuri. Ato nawambia this drink was wonderful. Na badewa wanaambia keep it up. Wanangojawe ukufa ndio nazidi kunenepa. Iyo ndio nasema. God will protect you. God will protect a believer. God will protect a gospel preacher. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. He ndio he. Watata kuwekea mitego hawa wenye watanaswa. Can we say amen? Wataweka mikono yao juu ya wagonjwa na watapata? Afia. Haisemi wataomba weka mkono as a believer. Can we say amen? You put hands. Jesus laid hands on sick people and healed them. And then it says this as we wind up, prepare to pray. Basi buwana baada ya kusema nao, Haka chukuliwa juu binguni, haka keti mkono wakume wa mungu. Na usikilize verse 20. Na wale wakatoka, sema na wale wakatoka. Walikuwa mekaa sasa wanatoka. Na sisi tutoke. Na sema tutoke. Waze tutoke. Wamama tutoke. Vijana tutoke. Washana watoke. Watumishu wa mungu tutoke. Kama tunataka kuongezo udamana katika kazi ya mungu tutoke. I am not ashamed of the gospel. Wakaondoka maanike nasema nao wakatoka Wakaubiri kote kote Hakuna maalu na chagua kote kote Can we say amen Wakaubiri kote kote 
na Bwana akitenda kazi pamoja nao na kulidhibitisha lile neno kwa ishara zilizofuatana nao. Na Mungu abariki hiyo sehemu ya kwanza. Mungu akipenda tutaendelea mbele sehemu ya pili. Patia Yesu makofi mazuri. Patia Yesu makofi mazuri. Patia Yesu makofi mazuri. Haleluya. Shikiliza haleluya. This power is not acquired by crying. Is in guvas ipatikani kwa kulia. It is found in the Holy Ghost and in the Gospel. So don't tell me go to the bush bishop and pray until you get power. Power is not in the bush. Power is in the Holy Ghost and it is in the Gospel. I know now better. There are years nilisumbua Mungu mpaka Mungu akanisaidia. Nilimwambia nitumia manife na Mungu akaniambia kufa. Pastor Mungu akaniambia sikiliza you don't force God to use you. You are a child of God. You are entitled to cast out devils. You are entitled to lay hands on the sick. So it's not something you beg. So don't tell God if you don't use me I will die. Utakufa. Kamwambia God forgive me from today I know my rights. Can we say amen? Ni kama ukiwa na watoto nane ya nyumba soda ziko hapa create. Alafu anasema usiponipa hii soda mimi siamini kama ni wako. Mzazi utamwangalia kama yule baba wa mwana mpotevu. Ukisoma hiyo maandiko inasema mwana mpotevu aliporudi huyu kijana mkubwa aliambia baba yake mbona umemkaribisha hiyo mwizi yule alichukua mali yako kila kitu akaenda huko nje akaribu sasa anarudi unamchinjia kondomu mnono unamvalisha mavazi mazuri umeleta wanamuziki wazuri wa mjini sasa unafurahi na unajua ameleta na mimi nilikuwa na wewe wakati wote hapa mimi nimekutendea mazuri mbona hii baba yake alimwambia makosa sio yangu makosa ni yako na akamwambia number one, son i am always with you That means the problem is not me, it's you. You have never asked for those things. These things are yours. Mimi niko pamoja naye wakati wote. Jambo la pili, haujaomba. Na ndio saojapata. That's why our heavenly father anatuangalia na shangaa. Mbona makanisani ni kulia, kuvunja vunja malaana, kuvunja vunja mitungi na kazi ilimalizwa msalabani. Nasema hiyo kwa sababu sioni hapa. Yesu alimaliza yote. Calvary. And when Jesus said it is finished, surely it was finished. Our work is to preach the gospel and see the results. In our homes, in our business, get blessed and bless others. That's how I see it, my friend. So power is not somewhere. Power is in the gospel. And if you have Jesus Christ, you have been given power to become what? John 1:12 and Asema, as many as received Jesus, God gave them power to become sons of God on top you receive the holy ghost you receive power then the gospel is the power wewe una baraka nyingi na uoni leo na kufungua katika jina la Yesu leo na kufungua katika jina la Yesu wacha kulia wacha kuangaikwasha wacha kuangaishwa wacha kutishwa you have the power to succeed you have the power to bless your family you have the power to do the best You have the power to increase and multiply. Where did you get that power from? When God spoke to Abraham and Sarah, Sarah was barren, but the word was spoken, the word of power. She later received a miracle called Isaac. From there, generations and generations have been blessed through that power spoken to Abraham. It doesn't matter where you are today. Your tomorrow and your future is brighter. Take the gospel. I want you to raise up your hand here and wherever you are. Sasa tunaenda kuvalishwa viatu vya injili ya amani. Kama ulikuwa ni mkristo muoga, uongei amani ya Yesu, uongei kazi ya msalaba, leo ndio siku. Tunaanza kutoka hapa kuvaa viatu sasa. Kwa sababu safari tunaanza. Sema safari tunaanza. Kutoka Misri Mungu aliambia wana wa Israeli vaa viatu, chukua fimbo, kila mtu tunaanza safari. It started from the feet. Unaweza kuvaa vizuri bila viatu utaonekana abnormal. So we need the gospel of peace. Our feet to have the shoes. Inua mikono yako mwambie Mungu vile nimekufundisha. Baba nakushukuru kwa nafasi umenipa. Kila moja naomba kila moja hata wana muziki everybody should put on the shoes of the gospel. Kila moja wetu ni mwaminio. 
and we have to do what is right. Because God is leading us now, you better, we better obey. Opportunity comes once, my friend. Baba ni nasema ni asanti kwa nafasi umenipa kuzumuzia batakatifu hapa na wale walio uko nje. Kwamba ni wakati wa kuvaa viatu vya injili ya mani. Kwamba ni wakati wa kudhirisha nguvu za Mungu katikati ya watu. Wajue kile Kristo aliwafanyia msalabani. Watu wapate kuokoka, watu wapate kufunguliwa, watu wapate kupona. Injili ni nguvu za Mungu kwa wale waaminio. Na hii injili bwana umetuambia tuvae viatu vya injili ya mani. Tuenda uko nje tukanyage nyoka na nge. Tufungwe wale mefungwa na kusimu na nguvu za giza. Tuwapeleke udhamana injili. Tuwapeleke baraka za injili. Tuwapeleke baraka za binguni. Tuwapeleke wokovu wa musalaba. Baba kila moja wei tuwavai viatu vya injili. Katika jina la yesu. Sema baba katika jina la yesu. Neno lako ni mesikia. Asanti. Maana kile yesu alifanya musalabani. Ndiyo jibu ya dunia. Ndiyo jibu ya dhambi. Na malana. Na magonjwa. Na nguvu za giza. Nisaidie leo. Nitambwe zile nguvu menipa. Kwa migu yangu. Kwa mikono yangu. Kwa midomo yangu. Sema midomo yangu imebarikiwa kutoka leo. Itaubiri injili. Migu yangu imebarikiwa. Kwa sababu imevaa viatu vya injili. Nitatembea nikisema Yesu ni Bwana. Ushuhuda Yesu anaweza. Ushuhuda kwamba ni Yesu anaponya. Na pia mikono yangu imebarikiwa. Nitaweka mikono juu ya wagonjwa na watapata afya. Baba thibitisha neno lako. Uwepo wako uende pamoja nami na pamoja nasi. Kazi yako ionekane. Matendo yako makubwa yajulikane. Hapa duniani na ijulikane kifo cha Yesu sio cha bure. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now I know it is the power of God to demolish the works of Satan and unto salvation. I take you by your word and I stand on the ground of victory. My feet shod with the shoes of the gospel of peace. I want to thank you. We are marching now to victory. We are marching through the wilderness into our promised land. Treading on scorpions and serpents and nothing shall by any means hurt me and hurt us. I am carrying the blessings of heaven. The gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Patie bwana makofi mazuri. It is good to know we are alive for a purpose and the purpose is to show people the cross. Otherwise God bless you, God keep you. Apply that word wherever you are, from here out there. These are the days of power, only through the gospel. People are going to experience the miraculous, the supernatural. When we wake up to the truth and the reality, the power is in the gospel. Well, Ningependa kuwashukuru kwa kunisikiliza. Tutaenda sehemu ya pili, Mungu akipenda next week, climax kit na baadaye niwaambie katika jina la Yesu way forward. Way forward is always there. Backward never, forward ever. Can we say amen? Na unajua walipofika Jericho, maanike nasema ukuta zilipoanguka, maanike nasema wakaenda mbele. Joshua akawaambia enda na sisi ni watu tunaenda mbele uwe mawako haupimiki kwa majira fulani tu 
Uwe mawako na kila wakati na kila nyakati Hata sasa ni mwema Tunapoimba ni mwema Tunapolia ni mwema Tunapocheka ni mwema Tunapopanda ni mwema Tunapovuna ni mwema Wewe ni mwema Umwema Wewe ni mwema Mungu 